Jerry, what's up, man? Jerry, sorry. Hey. Man. Yeah, hey, man, go hey. ahead. Hey, I'm uh, married and I have a girlfriend. And and they both know. And they both, yeah, they're living in the same house. Hold it. We all live together in the same Stop house. Stop the precious uh, nigga. Uh, this nigga's get up a pimp, pimp card. Pimp, pimp of the year. Of the year. <laughs> Maybe the month. I don't know if this gets yeah, you. We'll You're see. up for Here's pimp the of the month. All right, let's let's go, well, go ahead, nigga. How did you pull this off? First of all, you live in Connecticut, right? Yeah. All right. The last caller, the the girl that the 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 half Mexican, half Italian with the dude, they was from Connecticut too. So that's telling yeah. you something. Hey, tri-state area, <laughs> run up in Connecticut because they they all fucked up over there. You might be able to get some pussy and some other shit going on in Connecticut. I'm about to say, but go ahead. How'd you pull that off? Um, basically, my wife and I just wanted to have a threesome, and then uh, it stayed. She never left. My girlfriend never left. And wait, and that's what I try to tell my girl. What do, do they get along? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, see now, listen, baby. Hold on, but listen though. <laughs> you always say you want a friend. <laughs> right? A lot of times I go, sweetie, why don't you go out and get a friend or something? What if we meet a bitch and you really get along and y'all are friends and we fuck? What's wrong with that? This guy has it figured the fuck out, man. <laughs> That's how it works. I'm speechless. I don't know. I'm not there yet. Maybe I'll graduate to that class. I'm not in that class yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jerry, how'd you get this going? How um, wait, matter of fact. Okay, wait a minute. We might not wait. We might be hasty giving him a pimp. Was this your wife's idea, nigga? No, it was my idea. You fucking wow. introduce. Hey, why don't we keep this bitch around? Yeah. Holy. All right. How shit. hot is your wife? She's hot. She's she, got she, long blonde hair. They're, they're they're as hot as each other, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, but what what was her first reaction when you said? And what did you say first of all? And then what was her reaction? To me said, meaning to get to get this thing introduced to have a, a living girlfriend. What a, well, we had all been working together at the same office, basically. Oh, so they were and we had all first. been hanging out. No. And I said, you know, I'm kind of getting a vibe. Mm -hmm. And I think that we should have her join us mm. one night. So y'all already, you and your girl had already Maybe been all trooping cool. already. A little bit, yeah. Okay, wow. Cool. Yeah. Delicious. And one night uh, she came over by herself, you know, without some of our other friends. And Now, I let me ask you, is your, is, your, is your girlfriend... Your wife's girlfriend, like, are they, you know, do they get it get together when you're not around? Are they licking pussy and everything when you're not around as well? Um, not usually, no. But they will. Oh yeah. yeah. I like this guy, Jerry. I like this guy. Mm. This guy. This is guy's a trooper, man. This guy's living the life. He's a yeah. polygamist. He's a. And then I then look then at this bitch. <laughs> you getting all you a hoe? Like, what kind of? What kind of? The bitch said he's a, he's a polygamist with a hand on a fucking. Wait, what? So what? He's a fucking animal. No, I'm saying he's not a pimp. It's his religion. It's see, not what. what oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Turn okay, let me not disregard this. Hold on. Are you? And this is this this him? It this depends on your mic time. Uh oh. Is this your religion? My, no. Hey, my turn the mic on. <laughs> no. You're on punishment, bitch. It started. See how sick she got? She was she still, she still she fucked a, up about. She just had an outbreak of dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just had an outbreak. Of <laughs> That's okay. You know what it was? It was, my, it was my story. It was my story. That <laughs> she's doing good. Wait a minute, but her her doses have gone down <laughs> tremendously. You did good, but uh, Kathleen did good. is super sick. <laughs> my girl's on punishment. You see, she did. They go stick and sick. It's maybe it's his religion. You know why she said that? I'm gonna tell you why she said that. Cause. Because a trailer she saw of that movie, that the show three, on um Big on, on HBO. Big Love. Shut the yeah, fuck up. Shit. See, <laughs> you're, on the, you're on punishment now. All right. Um, damn, dude. Jerry, you're a fucking troop. I, there's nothing I can say to you but but but, but kudos, my friend. Put an application in for the pimp of the year. Yes, sir. I wish I could dig remember. deeper. And, and, you know, Patrice, the other thing is all that stuff you were saying about going out and fucking other guys, uh -huh. it's all, I do all that, too. They do all that, too. You, you know what? Out. This guy, you figured it out. You've learned how to... Now, what's the thing you... Now, here's... Now, here's... Okay, you can help me, Jerry. You can help me kind of bring this to, to, to light for the guys, okay? What have you done to condition your mind? First of all, what have you done to condition your mind to be able to deal with this? And two, um, when you... When you um, you're, I forgot what I was going to ask in a second. One is condition his mind. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> the, the second is... 
oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Too? Well, anyway, how'd you condition your mind to be able to not be jealous, to not, not be to jealous, to not have. buckle and de- to not deal with that shit? How did you how did you condition yourself to be able to deal with your wife fucking other dudes? Oh, here it is. And you love your wife, right? Oh, absolutely. Th- that's what I want to ask. How do you how was you able and this is this is key. How was you able to cut cut the physical and say, "Okay, my wife is is an animal." And then also look at her like, "This is my wife and I love her and I want to take care of her." How did you separate that? How did that become oil and and and, and water for you? Well, basically, you know, I understand it's just sex, and we're all human beings, and we all need it. Mm. And me, it I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, I love my wife, but if she wants to go fuck a guy, go fuck a guy. I'll be here when you, and if you want to go with him, go with him. I'll go find some other bitch. This nigga here, yes, Give him the- absolutely. Kathleen, Bravo. why aren't you clapping? Why aren't Clap you clapping, bitch? You why? Mic. You're sick. <laughs> My girl ain't clapping either. Hey, man, Jerry, you are... Listen, call in every time I'm on, dude, just to let me know that there's a there's troopers. And listen, first of all, we're, I'm having a little problem. Thanks for calling, dude. I'm having a little problem. Too many troopers are from Connecticut. <laughs> Where the fuck are the animals at? I wish I should could have got his girl on the phone. He might have just been lying and shit. Fuck. Next time, remind me, Jerry. Remind me I got you. that next time a guy is, is we give a guy too much qualified pimp kudos. Yeah, we have to fucking test it. All right. I, my girls look at me right in the face. Ah, right, Jerry, you motherfucker, call back, nigga. <laughs> if your girl, if your girl is there listening, call fucking back. I want to talk to that bitch and your girl, Jerry. Hey, Patrice. You got both girls there. Yeah, we live together in the same house. <laughs> you and my dad right now. Fuck pimp, this pimp, nigga here. Put him on the phone. Put your wife on the phone. You want my wife first? I yeah. want... Yes! <laughs> All right. Here's Holy here. shit! You're looking for... <laughs> looking for... Hey, oh, got... How you doing? <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on! <laughs> now, you are the wife of this special man. Yes. All right. First of all, now, when you first started swinging, was you married or was you girlfriend and boyfriend? We're married. You were married when you started swinging? Yeah. Okay. So at some point, did the sex get boring, or you motherfuckers is just animals from the get-go? No, it just sounded like a really interesting idea. Had that been something that was floating in your mind for your entire, like, your your sex career that you go, man, I wouldn't mind doing a threesome? No, I think he brought it up, and it just sounded he said it. That's fun. He said. And he just brought it up. Okay. This uh, is how are you? How much are you into women? Um, bye. I like women. Uh, so you're 50-50 or 60-40? I'm like 60-40. You're 60-40 dick. Yeah. <clears throat> so you so you, you so you like you like dick, but you will that's my girl kind of thing. She likes to fuck, but she kind of long you only really like to fuck your boy, your man really. Oh no, I'll do other guys. Oh god. You just bitches. She might have you beat, sweetie. You might be fired from this motherfucker. <laughs> you might have to be fired from this shit. We gonna we would y'all would y'all come down to the show one of these days? <laughs> I don't know if I can get him there. <laughs> oh, what, could, like right now, like on a Saturday, just like tonight, or, or I think the show might be Thursdays. But could you, you think you come from Connecticut and come through so I could just look you in your eyes? Because you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble believing this. So he said after you guys had the threesome the and you right? fucked your, you fucked the, the, the girlfriend, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you fucked the girlfriend, it was just was it like with the intentions that she was gonna get the fuck up and get out or? Well, not exactly. She's like a nice. It wasn't like you know we were. It was just like it wasn't going to be like a one night stand kind of thing. But wow. it, it wasn't initially it was like a with weekend the of it becoming, you know, a nine year relationship. Nine. <laughs> You've been together for nine wow. years. Like, yeah. th- how does this work? Please tell me how this works. It has its ups and downs. You just kind of. Okay. When does the when does the bitch jealousy come in that's what we want to know when oh, does well, jealousy what moments there, but... is, what what moments make you jealous um what lots of little things okay you let me ask you this you can talk yourself out of that you know that are just they're just stupid little things that you look at and go well how about when he fucks her without you present no not anymore that doesn't bother you anymore it used to it, it did in the beginning sometimes but that it, it, it's it's, it's not a, an issue. And what did Jerry issue. say to you, right? What did Jerry say to you? Because I'm picturing what I would say to my girl. What did Jerry say to you when you did get jealous after he fucked her on the side, right? Damn, Dante, he might. He is. Holy shit. Mr. Jerry from Connecticut. So when when he would say to you, 
Um, all right, baby, look, I fucked up, stand without you. What did he say to keep you there? After he said, fuck you, I'm fucking up by myself. Are you still there? Yeah. yeah. What did he do to keep you when you went into a jealous kind of thing, whatever you went into? What did he do to say, what did he say to make you go, make you go, all right, okay, uh, all right. Basically, he just made sure he reassured me, you know, it was always. You know, I'm always here. You, you always go to sleep next to me every night. I'll always be there. Do y'all all sleep in the same night. bed too, or no? Y'all all do all three. Of y'all sleep in the same bed? Um, no, not normally. Sometimes on weekends. Oh, the bitch sleeps on the couch or her other room. No, or she has her own room. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, and what about when he goes to the bathroom and he takes a peek into her pussy <laughs> on the way? Like, say, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Say that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> say you motherfuckers are spooning. This nigga gets up, goes to the bathroom, but he don't come back. He's in this bitch's room. <laughs> the room is two floors away. Our bedroom, our bathroom, and our bedroom are connected. Fuck that. He pisses and then walks upstairs. No. He doesn't do that. Sometimes he'd get up in the morning and go downstairs. The, the, I'm, 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 I'm digging the woman out. Uh-huh. I'm digging it. Hey, listen, I love you motherfuckers, but the woman has got to be there. The animal's there. So basically... He's making it easy for her. He's creating an environment so that she can still maintain... So he's not that. fucking up. So what he right. does is he knows what's going to make you freak kind out. of freak out and yeah. does not do that. He, he stays consistent with, that's, with that's what right. he does. So That's what right. is the context in which you guys start fucking all three of you? What goes down? You want me to answer that? Yeah, you go ahead and answer that one. Uh, what a, so basically, yeah, it's really like, like it's a Saturday night or Friday night or Tuesday it's night, party. and we all want to start doing it. We just start doing it. You start doing it. So yeah. so, so basically, you never go tiptoe up to second bitch's room and, and get a little side or, or curl up with her. No. No. Well, every once in a while. But Sometimes, just... yeah, but most of the time, Patrice, you want to know the truth? The truth is my wife works at night, uh, so she works so. downstairs. I'll bang the girlfriend, and then the wife comes to bed, and then I bang her. Very good. You know what? Here's, here's why he's a pimp. I'll tell you why he's a pimp. He's keeping right them all now. happy. Hey, hey thank, yeah, thanks. Hey, that was a genius call. Listen, give one of these niggas your number if you can ever, if you can ever hey, you talk to come through. Um, no, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. She's I'm gonna tell you something. She's not in it. Here's the here's the game. He he has figured out how to treat that other. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> He's figured out how to treat the other bitch like the side bitch, and and she stay in that place. He put her up in the attic, like the flowers in the attic. He slips cookies under the door, <laughs> and she is a like the gimp. He got her in a fucking trunk. And he pulls her out when he needs her. That is fucking genius, Jerry. You are a super genius, motherfucker. Get his number. Jerry. Yo. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? You gotta you gotta come in, dude, one of these days, man, and hang. Is this the man? Yeah, I know. This but is my boy from Kinetic. This oh, is yeah. dude. This, this is, is dude. Yeah, 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 I'm living the life. You should you I gotta come in one of these days with the with the family. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta come in with the family, man. Jerry Big Love. <laughs> <laughs> Big Love Jerry. <laughs> What's going on, man? Was you, what, did y'all do something today? Oh, you know what I wanna ask you, Jerry? I, 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 do you get, do you, does it, is it as, um, is it, is it as sexually fulfilling after a while, not as dead? Like, do you always feel like, oh, it's two women in my bed, or it's just like, it's, it's almost like having sex with one now? Um, yeah, you understand like the question? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's kind of like having sex with one. You got to, I mean, I'm I'm the true pimp, though, Patrice. I'm, 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 I'm still looking. You know, I'm still getting some on the side, even though I got two women living in the house. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, yeah. he, but listen, you got to understand, it's all Jerry. You got to understand this is that he's living his, I don't even want to call it a fantasy. It's, it's in guys. You got to understand... I, Nature, I don't believe nature to make mistakes. I don't believe it makes mistakes. I think that what happens is what's supposed to happen. Now, I believe that if you're born, the fact that men are born, and I think the ratio, I think the ratio is f- f- four to one, five to one, or something crazy like that, yeah. it means that it's that means all guys possi- are supposed to fuck five women. Because <laughs> we we're here to consummate and make kids. If if it was vice versa and it was five guys to one woman, 
nigga, nobody be getting fucked. It'd be a lot of kidnappings, a lot of wars with each other, like pussy wars, straight up, fuck Iraq and all that. <laughs> it's just like, we're going to gladiate over some ass. Right. And and we in the winter gets this chick who's probably going to be locked up in a cage <laughs> hoping that a, a, a gentleman wins and, and not that nigga missing, uh, missing one eye. You know what I'm saying? And what happens is I think that the fact is that Jerry can... I always tell my girl, I think I'm a good enough man to be with, you know... It's work, though. Be with three girls. Jerry, it's work, though, ain't it? I don't think it's work for Jerry. Yeah. It's, What's that? I mean, just it's to, to keep to it up. With the, to keep it up, to maintain it. To maintain the situation. I mean, it's, um, you're still dealing with two women. You're still yeah, you still dealing to be with, on two guard with two women. But yeah, I think one I think one is a lot more submissive. I mean, than even, even if they're submissive, you're still talking about... Being that you know, apparently he is this strong dude that makes right, what, them. Let's post. ask him. What's the toughest part of it all, Jerry? What's the toughest part of it? The toughest part of it? To, like the thing, the thing that's it's, not the. It's not. It's not pimp. It's like like I, I like to say. The, I like to say the word pimp, but it's, it's tough to pimp a girl that you care about. It's tough to be hard on her all the time because you you do want to take care that's another thing about us we are providers we want to take care of our family and take care of the woman we love but the toughest thing about being with two women as your woman what's what is the hardest part of that the hardest part is finding time for just me you know so, so, so wait a minute though so what's that mean like you you have to still even though you living in this fantasy world that we all love you live in this world of, of fucking two women and one lives with you you still have to like curl up and watch a movie or it's work by yeah. yourself. It's work. He's you still gotta, have yeah. to be lovey dovey. Yeah, he's still got to yeah. maintain. Oh yeah. Shit, man. Because I'm thinking <laughs> the only way to do it is like one is lovey dovey and the yeah. other one is. But see, he's uh, he, no, no, he, no, Jerry. How long has this been going on? Uh, ten years. So see what I'm years. saying? He. Holy shit. This is this is two of his women. He has to be and emotional. You got room? Wait a minute, nigga. You trying to find another bitch? Yeah, yeah, no wonder you ain't got no time to yourself. Which goes to That's show he you, does. he loves these two women and he still needs side pussy. It's, yeah. <laughs> side pussy is, ladies, stop being so defensive about stop side booty. Yeah. <laughs> I personally last last night I got side yeah. pussy. You got last night? Last night. Like, uh, let me ask you, do they know? Yes. Oh I, I sent them downstairs to go watch a movie together. And I said, I'm getting this girl coming over. And we're going upstairs in my bedroom. If I was a square, I go. What are you doing? This is what squares are thinking. Jerry, he's probably he's probably abusive, and he has a gun on both of them. <laughs> but it's mental. Yeah. He explains it, and he living it. It's hard to live how you want to live, dude. But once you do. It's beautiful. I don't and think there's nothing wrong baby. with that because that's three women. He still got two more. And again, <clears throat> I say this in my act. Not only do I have five who are naturally born with me, I have homosexuals five. I have dead motherfuckers retarded five. Niggas. I have retarded niggas five. I have niggas in jails five. I have married guys who don't cheat five. I have fucking the niggas who's in Iraq now five, and I'm holding them off till they get back. I have uh, fucking... It's like 50 to 1. It's, it's a lot of women yeah. who are having trouble getting a guy. So, okay, back to the just be good to me shit. What am I going to do? My girl got me. So what about the other 10 that are alone? But see, I think that women, for the, the nature of who we are, every day you walk outside and there's a new guy that's trying to fuck you. He, they're like, hey, baby, what's up? What you doing? And, and you go, <laughs> no, thank you. You're all day used to rejecting men. So all day long, you rejecting 10 men, which makes you think that there's 10 available motherfuckers out there. It ain't. I got a girl. And I'm still going, hey, baby, that's just what you are. When I talk to you in the street, you're just, I just got my human resources department open. Like, I got my secretary that I need for my company, but at the same time, I got to always put out applications. Just in case this bitch leaves me without two weeks slip, notice. She might slip and fall. <laughs> she, she might try to <laughs> sue the company. She, I, I got to replace it just in case. She leaves the company. And that's what women don't understand is is a shortage of men. You don't have a lot of options. That's why a guy like Jerry can live. I, I, Jerry, are you a part of any, like, um, cults? Any, not cults, but any, um, I know what you're saying, though. Not a cult, but like a, um, what do you call it? Like a, a, like a group. Like, are you a part of any, any, any sex groups or anybody that, that lives like you live? 
No, I know, my we've talked to some people online, but uh, we're never we're not really a part of a specific. Jerry's group too or... busy. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> no, but, let me tell you. No, but think about it. he's doing it with like no role model. He's doing it with like nobody to to, to tell him how it was done. So, how old are you, Jerry? How old are you? I'm forty. All right, forty. Yeah. When you when this is so interesting. At what? Because we all live the same life. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you didn't start off in the tenth grade as like I'm gonna do this. No. At what was the point? What was the like for me? Um, it it was already always there, but Brazil had this thing where I go, wait a minute. This is this is like the epiphany. This is the epiphany time. So I'm asking you about the epiphany time. When I had an epiphany, it was when I went to Brazil. I was in my regular because I used to be a serial monogamous, meaning I would just go from woman to woman and make her my girlfriend. I would always have a girlfriend. And yep. what I, what I said to myself, I, I got into the same thing with this last chick. I went to Brazil and I just met the chick, and then I went to Brazil. And I was like, wow, I I feel great. Like I even though I'm paying for this pussy, I feel like. These these women, man, are selling me what I want to buy. You know what I mean? They are selling me what I want to buy. I'm, I feel free. I feel like I don't have to be a pimp. Like meaning I don't have to have mind games. And and these women are gorgeous. And I found myself wanting to fuck them less. That I would hang out with them and, and was being happy. So basically, when I came back, I said, you know something? I'm never gonna put myself in a position to not be happy ever again. And that was the time where I had that that thing that swept over me where I'm saying, you know what, I'm going to live like this. Now, what what was the moment where you said, I'm going to live like this? Okay. The history lesson is, and, and a lot of guys will, will you know, and you've, got, you've talked about this even tonight, is, uh, you know, getting screwed over or fucked over by a girl. And I got fucked over by two girls, you know, one right after the other because I was stupid. And I went in there, and I was like, oh, I love you. And, you know, I had a chance to own my own business. And, so, and she said, no, you got to stay home with me and all this other shit. And then she fucking left me. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Mm-hmm. I was a nice guy. I was a sweetheart mm-hmm. buying flowers every Valentine's Day. Now I go buy your own flowers. And <clears throat> let me tell you something. Now, any women who are listening and any square guys who are listening, you got to understand that, you can't look at that like and go, oh, that's what it is. He's a He's jilted injured. guy. No. He felt like that before he got fucking hurt. We feel like that before. Let me tell you something. I used to be a poetry writing nigga, or oh, whatever yeah. writing nigga. I used to do a lot of shit to get pussy, dude. Yep. And and it was like I would give them the power of of pussy. I would make pussy like so powerful in my life that I'm like, wait a minute. I'm better than this. I am not going to, like, put myself in a position to go, Oh, I love you, movie. I found that being a dick, and let me tell you about, this is, go back to the word bitch. Why I say it? It doesn't mean anything to me. It's just a belief system. It's just to say to myself, I can say bitch, and I believe in it. And I'm going to see if I can have you, like, get mad at it, and I stay, stay, I stand firm on it. He believes and what he's doing. It took a minute, but he said, yep. you know what? People go, this guy's a lying motherfucker. I'm going to tell you something, dude. No, you not. go, nigga, I'm a, I'm a, and it sounds arrogant, but he, it's a belief system. He believes in it to a point where he's like, the girl's like, he sent two girls down and going to fuck another one. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It happens if you believe in it. Trust me. Really? The word bitch to me is not, it's nothing to me as, as except for this. It's just, uh-huh. go ahead. And I think you talked about it before, Patrice, man, because I was, like, I was a pussy motherfucker. I, I mean, I remember the last time. We all are. My, my last girlfriend, when, before I got married, and I was crying like a motherfucker. I don't know why she left me. I don't know why she left me. You know, and then Why? Just, who? Where? Why? Yeah, how? You know, and, and then I just, it, something just, that was my epiphany. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, man? Sitting you know? here crying so like now, a bitch. Yeah. Curled up in the corner you know, in the I'm fetal like, position. Over, then, over what? That's the thing. Over what? Somebody what do like you. you really mean? If no. let me ask you a fre- question, fellas, if your girl left you, right? What would you really miss about her? What would you really miss about her? What? What she? What? Her funny jokes? Yeah. Her? Her? What? The the way she talks to you when you don't want to talk to her? You miss the routine. That's what you miss. You miss the routine of what? 
just hanging out together, going out, the things that you do together every day. You miss Not that because you, no. you find yourself sitting alone. Not you, uh, we don't have a problem. We don't have a problem. We don't have a problem. That's what, that's that's what, what you, you miss. We miss. That's well, what I you miss. That. That's what a woman misses. We don't miss your routine. That, that's what I'm saying. There's no. So, let me say. I, so why are you sitting I'm, home sad? You he sit it, exactly, but upset. that's Why? my question. That okay. You missed All right, hey, hey, Jerry. When you yep. was crying in the fetal, yep. What were you cry? I say, and this is my theory, but I'm gonna ask you. It's the it, to me. It's the, it's the arrogance and the ego that you thought the bitch was yours. Right. It's like that's you know what it's what like. It it's like possession. I said. It's, it's like possession. it's possession. I got five yeah. watches that, and four of them I don't wear. Right. But you ever can't take one but of if them. one if a nigga steal my watch, I'm going crazy. Right. So it's like you got three bitches and you a piece of shit. Right. Fuck it. Right. And you lose one of them bitches. And you mad at them. Your ego's like, oh, oh you man. feel your ego is damaged. Yeah. That's how I feel when, me, when if a girl leaves you and you hurt. But let me ask you, Jerry, when you was in the fetal position, how, what, when you look back to about it, what did you miss when you was in tears and in pain? And what did you miss after you fit, when you figured it all out and up to this point, reflecting, what did you miss when you reflect on her, and what did you miss at the time when she left you? You understand the question? Oh, no, not really. What, what you did you think? To? Okay, what did you think you missed when you when she first left you and you was hurt? Well, I thought I was in love, and I thought I you know missed you know hanging out with her and all that shit that the girl was talking about, and and dude, that's not what I missed. You know, what, I, I what, what did you miss when you when you reflect when in retrospect? Possession. What did, what were you crying over? Mostly just getting laid, you know. Just getting laid. Ain't that, I'm, I'm telling you, ladies, you it's think possession. you think it ain't that important. You think pussy not That's that important. Part of the routine is, me, is no, pussy. I didn't miss the yeah. Routine. This is not a routine. If you were getting it every night, now suddenly she's gone and you don't get it. That's part of your routine. What goofy guy gets it every night? When he, this is that's another thing, y'all. When y'all use pussy as a as a, a means a of a weapon, yeah. do you are you gonna give your weapon to the enemy every night? You're gonna hold it off and make him <laughs> suffer. What is this? What I'm saying? Patrice, Patrice. <laughs> there have been there have been times. Listen. Listen, there have been times when I've had both women and two other women on the side and still not gotten pussy every night. Say that, that, one, that, say that, say that one more time. Four, I had four my wife. Yeah, I have four chicks and all not, at one time and, not and still laid. not gotten pussy every night. That, that's just not, like you said, that's just not, it's not going to happen. You're just not going to get pussy every night. No. That's just not going to happen. It's not the routine. It was no, it's it's ego, happen. man. Plus, it's they, ego. Start, they start cycling <laughs> Jerry, where's your, where's your girl at now? What's, what's going on? Where they at now? <laughs> They're in the other room listening to this conversation. Really? Let me. Can, can you get them on the phone? Let me talk to them for you. Hi, me. ladies. Yeah, girl, <laughs> pick up the phone when you hear this. They're a little behind in the delay. Hey, let me right, tell you tell them to turn else. the radio down too. Yeah, and turn the radio down. Um, you got to go get the other phones, girls. Oh my God, my dick just got on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living. Girls, <laughs> nigga, I think I'm gonna fuck Jerry just to, just to know what it's like. Nigga, he's like girls, and you hear him, he's not like yo bitches. Get the motherfucking phone if I choke one yeah. of y'all. Girls. Let me tell you something else, okay? Call them girls, too. Coochie coo. This is, this is the other thing about my life. And, and Patrice, you know I'm honest as fucking day is long. Yeah, yeah. I, I have sent both of them out, my wife and my girlfriend, to go fuck other guys. Well, that's what you have to do. Yeah. See, that's I do. that's the key. That's where watched- that's where you learn. Look at da- <laughs> look at Danny's face. Because that's the one thing uh, out of everything I've heard tonight. That's the one thing I can't I can't wrap my mind around. It's, like, it's, how, it's, how, it's ego. How do you ego. send your girl out? It's the ego. Fuck some let other me, dude. Let me ego. ask you a question, do, Danny. Do you have something of value to you? Whatever, go. That really you don't give a fuck about. But but but, but it's it. yours and it means something to you. But you really don't. It's no. You get it gets no attention. It gets no like it's a possession. You know, if right, somebody you know, you know like when a, when a kid has a uh, gets a dog, but he don't walk him. He don't spend time with him. But then you say, look, I'm getting rid of your dog. Then he goes, no, no, don't, don't. I please. love my dog. Right. I, I I got it. I got it. Danny, you have to send your girl out. With the confidence that you know that after she fucks some other guy, she's coming back to you. You got her mind. That's it. <laughs> Look at Danny. Danny's like, I can't Danny even can't rest. deal no, with I, it. I can deal with that. It's just like... I it just, takes practice. Because in, in your head, you're like, I can't believe... I, at least I would be like, I can't believe that my girl is fucking some other dude right now. And that I wouldn't be able to... 
I wouldn't be able to relax. <laughs> no, Jerry. I would hey, know Jerry. that. Mind. Knowing that your seven-inch dick is getting pumped away <laughs> by some nine-inch monster. Yeah. And your girl's like, oh, I didn't know what I was missing. Fucking is loser, Danny. <laughs> there was something. You, you know what Danny's radio? Here's what it is. Wait a minute. Stop the present. <laughs> <laughs> you think that another guy's going to expose your faulty fucking. Like, <laughs> like, that's what it is. Is you think there's another guy. I'm going to tell you one story of my girl <laughs> that bugged me about her fucking What's another guy. Is a, is a, oh. she, said, she said she fucked this rapper. I'm not going to be nameless. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she said, <laughs> I, she said I'm the best sex she's ever had, but she had another guy who I know is the best sex she ever had because she's talking to me. Mm -hmm. All right? So she said that he's the only guy that when he was fucking her, made her have to pee on herself. <laughs> and when he was fucking her, he said while she had to pee, she said I had to get up and go pee. And he said, I don't give a fuck if you piss, just keep pissing. He kept fucking her. And he and she was crying when she was telling me the story. And my stomach, not, I almost threw up. I think my kidneys went into failure. <laughs> I think my liver fell out. When she's saying this guy is fucking her till she peed on herself, and I and I said, you know what it was? Uh, Here's what made me mad, cause I can't fuck her till she pees on herself. <laughs> I don't have a pee dick, so this nigga was packing enough to fuck with a bladder. <laughs> and Danny's scared of the nigga's no. gonna fuck his girl's bladder to shreds. <laughs> but that's why I go out and I try to actively uh, try to embrace another guy fucking the shit out of my girl. And hopefully my mind game can overwhelm his bladder skills. <laughs> right. Bladder, <laughs> bladder beating skills. I remember something you said, and it was to the effect of you, 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 you know, a, a guy who lost his, you know, he's like 35, he had a 21 year old girlfriend, and he lost it to another guy, thinking his. His fuck game was supposed to keep her. Right. And that's not the way it works. You can't keep a girl, a 21-year-old girl with your fuck game, especially if you're 35. It, it, I mean, Jerry's 40. He can't keep this going with his fuck game. He's 40. So he has to keep it with a mind. Like, girls, that's not dick. Girls, get the phone. Girls, that's not dick. <laughs> right. It's something that's else. It's leadership. It's like, this chick's like, this nigga's a winner for some reason. That's why I got to keep my girl thinking she's a I got to be better than a nigga fucking her bladder to shred. And I got mad, nigga. I was like, oh. <laughs> like, in my head, like, like bitch got to pee on herself. And no matter how hard I push my fat butt, no pee is going to, unless I crush her. Yeah, the punch her, in the kidneys. Crush her, her hip bone. The punch in the gotta, kidneys while you. I, I got to reach down and start squishing her organs for, for me to make her got to, you understand? Yes. It's like, it's an ego thing, Danny. It's, it's like you thinking that some guy's just going to be better than you and the fuck, but you got to have her thinking, like a friend of mine just called me and said uh, he was scared to get a dildo bigger than his own dick. And I said, look. What you have to do is have her think. Because any woman can get dick, but she can't get sex, the, the, that satisfying the, the, fucking orgasmic you know, thing. Once you can bring that to a girl, she applies that. Like, if anybody, it's, it's, if Jerry, if these two girls leave Jerry, both of them will be fucked up because they're going to miss what, the, the everything, energy yeah. Of like this chick that this new chick my girl brought around and we messed around a little bit and I was I was she's just like she kept saying things to me like why she was thinking because she looked at, I'm a big motherfucker so she's like when she's sucking my nips she's like oh wow he 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 looks at her she looks at her because she's still into my girl so the girl's talking to my girl and she's like oh you smell like soap and I'm thinking to myself. What, what, bitch, what am I supposed to smell like? What, you, you thought I smelled like uh, underneath like, a whale's yes. arm? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a whale ball. Like thing. hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, wow, you smell. And I'm sucking the titties when my girl went to the bathroom. And she's like, you're so soft. Like, we had a moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she was like, well, there you go. Like, wait a minute. Fat boy ain't so bad. And, and then she get into it. And then she sees how. So after, if we do that a couple of times, be she goes fuck some nigga that could have um a pee, 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 a pee dick, you know, a bladder smashing dick, but she's gonna go, man, but he he's, he's not, not soft, soft, he don't smell like yeah. soap, and his girl ain't gentle, yeah. and this ain't, this sucks. Yeah. Even with giant dick. Here's, here's what happens, a good, a good, a good 
situation. Like even the magic wand. When we was using the magic wand, yeah. I know guys that I had turned on to the magic wand and they would use it, be afraid to use it. I don't want my girl to be into that. But what she does is she attributes that to item him. to you. She associates she, any sexual activity that him. makes her feel good to him. So that it the the, the vibrate is no good without you. This I, let me tell you something. I've given out magic wands. There has to be at least four hundred magic wands floating around the universe. Wow! And, and I'm talking about I'm talking about um I'm talking about af, after um one that and then she I I, I have to say I attribute it has to be about four hundred attributed to me because of people you turn and on about eight hundred attributed to you yeah. because Dante hit me to the magic wand. I used to be a believer in the uh, pocket rock. Right. Then he tribute to the, he got me in the magic wand, so I hit this one in the magic wand, and I know that that one hit somebody to the magic wand, so I must be responsible for 400, Dante must be responsible for 800 with my 400, and I'm going to tell you, some of the chicks still call me because I was the nigga that introduced her to this way of life, so what happens yeah. is, why Jerry, why these women cannot leave Jerry, is because there's a way of life. That they are associated with Jerry. They got to go in. And here's the thing. Women do not introduce what they want sexually to you. You know what I mean? You have to introduce it to them. They can't. They're not just going to go, listen. Um, they, I like, you can't I like, say, you can't say, choke me. You, because as a, as the a whole woman. idea of you choking her right. is is lost because she's telling you to choke you, her. Exactly. So the fact is, she can't, like what woman now that she one of these girls leaves and she goes, "Hey, listen, sweetie, you think you can find yourself another girlfriend that lives with us upstairs and then also go <laughs> fuck other women and then I go fuck other guys?" Huh? <laughs> um. Uh. Uh, listen, uh, can, you have uh, to get out of my house, crazy bitch. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's why it's easy to have a 10-year thing like this. I mean, it's the tough... Swear Jerry, me. hey, listen, we're going to go on a break real quick. Stay on the phone, and we're going to kick it to um the, the girls. Okay. <laughs> the girls. has got to run. The girls. I love the girls. <laughs> girls, we're going to be back in a minute, all right? All right. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, she sounds nice and controlled. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Go get me some tea, <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm not there. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. There's so many, uh, there's so many bass songs that you know, black guy wrote. Uh, That's some Howard Hewitt shit. And we uh, love is the whole of the beer. And we love, this one guy just have love in his song. Like, and loving a girl from him to you. And when you love somebody, love is the love. Then love is the love. <laughs> Love and love. <laughs> hey man, we gotta go right to Alondra, man. This these words I'm reading, this can't be true. Alondra? Thank you. Where's the, oh, yeah, oh he, Danny's yeah, gotta the phone come guy. Click the thing go ahead, first. Click look at Danny, you dirty slave. Click this phone, nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alondra? Hello. Easy, oh, easy. Lord. Alondra. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry. First of I'm all good. first of all, how old are you? I'm 24. 24. So you still got the silicone pack in your pussy that come with the shoes? Like, it's, it's brand new, ain't it? Got that new car that smell. That new car pussy. <laughs> that, that, pine, yeah. that pine pussy. Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead. Say your pussy. Speak your piece, beautiful. No, I, was, I had a comment about the guy that was surprised that his girlfriend dicked him over because he had put off like opening up a business because oh she said I, that he should stay home with her yeah. like <laughs> he was a fucking cunt so how did he not know she was going to dick him over I don't know <laughs> I don't have a fucking idea you sound like the you woman, look than the me. woman <laughs> is selfish and she was obviously going to dick him over. Any woman that would ask a man to not open up a business to stay at home with her. Are you talking selfish? about Jerry? Yeah. Oh, right. But no, sweetie, time out. Time out. See, a lot of women believe that they're different from all the other women. You would do that. Because let me explain to you. In your jealousy, here's how warped you are. You believe any other thing that takes up your man's time is another woman. If he loves video games, it's like that bitch 
Gears of 360. War. If he loves DJing, that fucking hoe spinning record, that spinning record, you get jealous of anything that you feel is better than you in the relationship. So she didn't, she, she knows that asking a man not to have a career, not to build his life is wrong. But y'all don't give a shit because that's just your competitive, jealous nature. And it's his fault or any guy's fault for not putting the option. Now, he knew it was his fault. He learned from it. Now, look it. Bitches are suffering. Four or five holes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to happen to you soon, too, lovey lumps. In six years, when, you, when, the, when the value of your coochie starts to depreciate, like a Ford Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> but you sound cute, though, Precious. Are you a virgin? No. <laughs> All giggly and shit. What are y'all having? A slumber party hitting each other with pillows? Oh, I can now see pillows. And, oh, I, I can see. I can see fe- little pillow pants, fe- pillow feathers sticking to the pussy. Oh God, you sexy sons of bitches! <laughs> All right, Alondra, um, take you and your goofy bo- voice and finish the rest of the night. But thank you for the call, sexy. Hey, Jerry, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Are the girls there? Yes, yes. Hey, look, girls, does is it is it uh, is it is it the dick that Jerry's slinging, or is it the is it the is it the is it the game that he's selling that makes you love him? I think it's both. Yeah, it's definitely the, both. Jerry's slinging enough right. dick to satisfy two of y'all like that. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. And what and <clears throat> and both have yeah. orgasms every time y'all fuck. Multiple. Yep. Let me ask you. Let me ask you some personal shit here. He is a monster. What's what's the what's the fuck routine? Because his his me and my girl's <laughs> fuck routine is, I fuck her, then I get tired, then I eat her pussy till she comes, then I lay down and she licks my nipples while I jerk off. That's the routine. <laughs> what's what's the what's y'all routine? Like what's the what's the the thing y'all mostly do that you know is gonna satisfy each other? Um. I fuck until they come. And then I do whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's the whatever you want? Fucking film. Uh, it varies. It varies. Like whatever. Doggy style, on top. Uh, you ever have one lick your asshole and another one get the balls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, you dirty <laughs> fucking Jerry. Somebody ought to just shoot you in the head. <laughs> like, ass, both of them in the ass, <laughs> banging yeah, them both in the ass. ass. Uh, really? And then, oh, like, yeah. do, now neither one of you, the girls, y'all neither, y'all don't look at each other like, wait a minute, you gave her ten pumps, and I only got no. six. No, no. It's just like Not whatever. Anymore. It's very spontaneous. No. Oh, it used to be beginning. a little bit. Now, who had the biggest problem when it first ha- happened? Did y'all like? Okay, wait. Here's a better question. Was there ever a time where either one of you like, I'm out of this fucking shit. What am I doing? I'm better than this. Because it sounds like you, you're done. You've been conquered you're by the it. feeling to like. I'm better than this. What's the what's what was what was that feeling like? And now and then, what made you guys just go? You know what? I'm this I'm really digging thing. on this. Well, it, we you work it out the same way you work out any relationship, whether it's a, a yeah. two person relationship or a three person relationship. It all works out the same, right? It, you work at it just like any other relationship. Jerry, this is why you're important to me. You're important to me because you have a relationship with two women, and that's what I'm. If Jerry was just a swinging guy. I, I'd be like, all right, I'm done with Jerry. But Jerry has a relationship, and that's what I want. I want my girl, she's 32, going on 33. I want us to have a little tenderloin as our girlfriend. I want a girlfriend. And that's one. I'm, that's something I'm having trouble doing. I want another chick to be walking. I was so happy the other day that I'm just having two girls tiptoe around, around the house naked, naked dude. It's so It was so sexy. And, like, I don't really want to have sex with both of them. I want to have sex with my girl because, you know, I want because we're comfortable. But that the fact that there was another little 22-year-old just skating around the crib, sitting down, just to, like, because, like I said, sex, sex, sexuality or being sexy ain't the thing for me no more. It's like if I walk out and get myself some um, diet Kool-Aid, you know, some, um, some uh, 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 crystal light like- grape, right? <laughs> And I see some naked 22-year-old just sitting down eating cereal on my couch oh, watching morning. The Wire. Good morning. And I just go, hey, sweetie, hand me my shoes. And I just walk back. You know, she's just there. Her pussy's on my couch. Like, And I just walk in. My girl is in the other room, and we watch TV, and we go, hey, other bitch, um, come here. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, it's unbelievable, man. I'm very, 
I'm very. It's Jerry. You you the man, dude. Jerry's got a lot to tell you. Oh, he's the man. I want Jerry to call in. Anytime we do Black Phillip, Jerry, you make sure you call just to tell us what's going on. Gonna get Y'all going to fuck tonight or you you, you just going to chill? No, we're chilling tonight. Yeah. Did, uh, you just gonna, you going to chill out? What you going to watch? What do you mean? Just hanging? Yeah, just you watching TV or just whatever? Nothing? Oh, yeah, we're just watching TV. Yeah. Just sitting there watching TV whatever. with two vaginas. Oh, and four titties. <laughs> Jerry, you piece of shit. My friends at work say that, too. How do you leave the house? I don't know how you leave the house. <laughs> it's yeah. just, oh, but but it's just bad stories, though, in stereo. <laughs> you want to know what happened to me today, Jerry? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what happened to either one of you bitches. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, Jerry, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to you next time, man. Give me a, right, give me hey, a MySpace listen. shout or something. The truth, of the, part of, the truth of the matter is, is that sometimes it's better that to have two of them because, like I said, then there's, you know, those two go downstairs. And even if I don't bring another girl in the house, when I need me time, they keep to themselves and they go watch, you know, chick flicks or something like that. That's beautiful, dude. And, and he hasn't done that. We're going to, we're going to, you got to MySpace me so I can get you to come in one of these days so we can just all chill out. And yeah, because you, you sound like a corny looking motherfucker. Like you, you don't sound like a sexy nigga. You sound like a no. goofy fuck. You sound like you got one of those those black white guy afros, like half curly, and is no, and is receding no. a little bit. No. <laughs> I don't want to know what you look like. I want to see you one day. All right, man. So I'll talk to you later, dude. Um, let's run through some shit. All right, uh, Doug in Brooklyn. Doug, what's up? Hey, what's happening? How are you, sir? You love and you respect your wife. I do, I do. Okay. She does what I tell her. Yes. And uh, I don't know that she needs to know any of the secrets of the man game. Hey, real quick about Jerry, though. Uh, You know, the only way I think he makes it work is he's sitting there between two probably husky women. uh, You know what? That's a fair fucking... I did not get into how they look. That is a fair... Jerry... No, we did last time. Jerry, do you... They were hot. Do you hear this piece of shit, Doug? Challenging my yes. friend Jerry, but J- Doug, you got a good point. They might be two horrifying messes. They might be one might lost the left arm and other might lost the right arm, <laughs> and together they just make a whole bitch. <laughs> hey, you're, 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 they need each other to play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerry called him. Let me call talk to Jerry for a minute. Hey, Jerry. Jerry. Hey. Do, do you hear this, bitch? How do you... This is Jerry, my my favorite friend, Jerry, with, oh, the with his two girlfriends. Oh, Jerry. What up, hey, Jerry? Jerry? Two hey. girlfriends. That's a... Just, can you... I'm so tired. Can you talk to this bitch for a minute, Jerry? How, what am I going to do with it? Do I have to lock her in a closet and beat her? What do you, what do, you do? You got to... She don't get it. She's... She... You're right. Yeah, absolutely. She's just dumb. How'd you... <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Do Jerry's you girlfriends asshole? have sex with each other? Huh? Do Jerry's girlfriends have sex with each other? Sometimes. Do you think that a guy... Wait, come on. Don't answer that, Jerry. If I, Jerry. I, 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 wait, wait a minute. Don't on, Jerry. Poppy, this is what I'm saying. I'm trying to teach every woman in the world. Is that a real relationship? A guy, <laughs> a guy who has two girlfriends that know about each other. You don't ask him, is he doing anything? Because he's doing whatever the fuck he wants. No, I just was curious. If I had two bitches that were like, I was calling my girlfriends... And they agreed with it? That means his pimping is extraordinary. <laughs> so even if they wasn't fucking each other, they would be if Jerry said so. Mm. Wait a minute. I'd hate to throw a monkey wrench in this. Weren't we supposed to find out what these girls look like this time? They, I know what they look like. I see his website. Oh, okay, they're, never mind. They're like, they look like, um, it's like, uh, <laughs> Jerry kind of looks like the, the, the lawyer from um, Seinfeld, I mean, the black lawyer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like whatever his name is. Phil Morris. The, the guy who's like, yeah. hey, did you know? that, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And his girls, his girls look like, uh, like heavier versions of, 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 of uh, who's, who's her buddy on on the show, Elaine. Elaine. Like, okay. like, it's like that kind of thing. Like they're they're like, Six. look, like, yeah. Like I would say, what would you what would you I'm, number your I'm, your women, Jerry? Um, like a seven and an eight. Seven and eight. I yeah, disagree. Like anyway, I guy disagree, and Jerry. But you know what? That's me. fair enough. And here's here's a smart thing he did. Seven or eight. One is a seven and one's an eight. So he keeps one. There's always a bottom bitch. I have to tell my girl this. There's always even pimps have a girlfriend that have to you know get the other Keep girls to, to go in. Yeah. I can see if me, you, and Poppy together. Poppy would have to be my bottom bitch. Cause Poppy oh. would have to. She would have to talk to you about your attitude. 
Like, you would be like, he's such an asshole. And Pop would be like, look, look baby, listen, yeah, you got to understand. Because you know. Pop, would, she would be sitting there. <laughs> he's an she'd be sitting there looking daddy. at her diamond rings <laughs> and her steak or whatever I'm doing. And Pop would be like, listen, don't fuck it up for everyone. Stop it. Stop having so much dignity. And I'd be like, are you Stop. fucking kidding me? And she will be like, you got to understand Pop him. Pop like a house nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We sick, boss. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Don't mess it up for us. I'm telling you. Oh, hey, Jerry, man, how's it going, man? I haven't talked to you since the last show. Hey, it's going good. I uh, Great, actually. Really good. What's, what's new in your life? For people who don't know, the, the show, we're, we're trying to get this show on weekly, by the way. Uh, just let everybody, we're trying hard so that we can just... We can. Oh. We never feel rushed, man. Yeah, we don't have enough time yeah, at all. Yeah, but but Jerry, for people who who not listened to the show before, this is our one of our favorite. This is actually one of the first callers ever. Yeah. Uh, Jerry is a. I don't even know what you call it. It's a religion. I think it's called. It's not even called swinging because Jerry lives with his two girlfriends and they have their place. It's called like a poly- polyamory. Polyamory. Yeah. Poly. Yeah. Right. He's living. Big, big, uh, big, big love. Big love. He's big living love. big love. So, in case you don't know, Jerry is just living how we all want to live. Cause I think I got enough passion for three bitches. Oh. I do. Like when I don't want to talk to you, like Poppy would be the one. Like she gets to walk around <laughs> naked in the house, <laughs> and I don't get tired of looking at her. You bitch, go cook, and then we'll talk about life. <laughs> like if Poppy tried to talk about the news with me, I'd be like, look, bitch, come on, you look too good. <laughs> That's exactly the way it is. Go get, go get exactly this, go get this goofy is. bitch here to talk about the news. You, you sit there and cook naked. Why I talk to Kareth about the news? That's right. <laughs> And listen, cook something where you can cook with one hand and stick your finger in your asshole. <laughs> with the other oh hand. I want you to cook naked by sticking your finger in your asshole, and I'll talk life with this other bitch. So let me ask you, Jerry, is one bitch the smart bitch and the other one's the, the fuck? Yes. Now, now, hmm. does the fuck get jealous because she's always trying to be... I know you got to... Women are women, dude. I know, I know the fuck one wants to be the smart one, and the smart one wants to be the fuck one, right? Cause That's the, correct. Because the smart one is like, you don't find me attractive? Not that I don't, but let me tell you, the fuck one is better than you, you know, sweetie? That's and then right. the smart one, or, or the fuck one is like, how can you don't talk to me about um, world events? Because right. you're, you're dumb. dumb. <laughs> and, and let me tell you why they stay. You think they stay because Jerry goes back and forth? Jerry says, because you're dumb and you're good looking. Yeah. And they go, and then he goes, good say girls. That, yeah, he says it. Go ahead, ask him. Well, you know what? Tell him, Jerry, the pimp shit. All right. Here's the pimp shit. The pimp shit. <laughs> Are you an actual pimp? Or? No. No. No, he's a hat. But he's a... He's, he's, He's what I consider. Square pimp. He's a square pimp like myself. Oh. Meaning I could not put a bitch on the stroll. I just could I I couldn't do it. I just don't have it in me. I'm not that brutal. But he has all the tools to be a pimp. All the all the all the magical shit that'll get you. Because I see you sometimes, you know, blinking slow, getting ready to cry. You don't want me to have that power over you, but I do. <laughs> now here's Poppy. Poppy's just like, I but thank you for being honest. She's just that good. She's ready just to. Poppy just wants to go, yes, master. Poppy's ready to be a Stepford wife. She's tired of the bullshit. I am really tired. She needs somebody to, she needs somebody to right. walk her through life. Yeah. You need the same thing, except for you want to blah, blah, blah. You're fighting. Now, me and you and Poppy was together. I am fucking the shit out of Poppy. And then I'll talk and, sports and, with you. And you might be able to come in, maybe lick my balls while Poppy is. Oh, <laughs> maybe. What a pleasure. Oh, my God. If, can I really? If, if I, it depends on how I feel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wish I'm you sorry, could Jerry. see my face. Hold up. Let me get Jerry to certify poly- yes, you're polyamorous. Tell, tell us, Jerry, please. I'm what, curious. what do you want to know? Here's what I want to know. What And you're listening to the show, right? Everybody's hearing these. They're, yep. they're both... Cackling, but one's cackling different. Like mm-hmm. you gotta understand what guys hear when when y'all talk is like chickens, <laughs> birds, all birds. Are. That's so. Even though you're agreeing with me and you're not, or you are, it's just it's just it's just really. We just want to throw y'all all breadcrumbs and have you just go. That's it. 
But when it boils, when you got to stop it and, 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 and add everything up, you got to deal with how Jerry. Now, Jerry, we want to know, okay, how do you deal with the fact that one wants to, the fuck one wants to be smart and the smart one wants to be f- the, the hoe? Well, like you said, you have to teach them what, what it is. You know what I mean? Like if they left, I'd find me two other bitches. And they have to believe that. But we and, know. And, for, and we, in all honesty, Patrice, uh-huh. for, for like, I don't know, I didn't talk to you for like three months because I was basically, I had a third girl. I was had a girlfriend. What happened to this one? Uh-oh. Well, she was actually cheating on her boyfriend, so she she kind of went back. Oh, and you just let her go back. Good I man. Go back. God damn it. Now, does this guy sound like a creature? Does he sound <laughs> I'm he's evil? evil yes. He, but he know yeah. he, he's he has the charm of Dracula. Do they work, Jerry? And that's the charm you have to have. Do your girlfriends work? Yeah, they work. They have to work. What? For they have what? To work. Yeah. I he's wouldn't a, have that. Because he's a pimp. Yes, you would have that. How, first of all, uh uh-uh. uh How can a girl see a girl who's in a relationship uh. with a, a nigga who has three girlfriends? Uh, that one I of them girls would not can't have a job. Say, they can't say what they would do. Right. You're already been talked into. I thought I was naked in the house. I thought that was my job. But Poppy is Poppy is waiting to be a but, paid hoe. That's what it is. You're she's good. she's I ready to look. Put some diamonds. Cold. Give me a car. I, 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 I apologize, <laughs> Jerry. Me. Jerry, I do apologize. You know what? Because we we have to like figure out this this. Every pimp style. There's guys who just want mad bitches. There's guys who just want to keep their wife shut. Their mouth, my wife's mouth shut. You know yeah. what I mean? There's, there's all kind of pimping that you have to do. But Poppy, I didn't realize. I've realized Poppy is like, I will do this f- for a well, price. This, this. But we see, no guy wants to think like that because really, Poppy, if you have enough money, like uh, for instance, the Playboy guy, Hugh Hefner, yeah. a bitch will be in any position. If I said, look, I'm, a, I'm, you're gonna live a lifestyle where I'm worth twenty million, and you're gonna get a hundred thousand dollars worth of shit every year just to be pretty, a bitch will do that. Right. Poppy's down for that. Look what Jerry is, what what Jerry is, and what I like to be is a nigga that talk his way into bitches free. wanting, wanting to be down with me like that. Yes. So mm. basically, I'm basically I'm trying to get invited. <laughs> in. It's chosen. Yeah. Like I'm talking my way into having two bitches. I don't want to pay my. How the fuck? That's if Jerry said I pay for it. Do you think we would hang I up on that motherfucker? Press. I deal him more impressed. Well, yeah, Wait a minute. Why? Are you out your skull? Why? Well, why? He talked his way into having two bitches? Because these women are dumb. I mean, they're, they're uh, kind of uh, getting played, listen, and neither please. one of them are getting anything. Please, really. anybody they can are, be had. Okay, all right. Ask them what they're getting out of it, Jerry. Ask them what they're getting out of yeah, it? Yeah, what are they getting What are your bitches they getting? They're getting a roof over their head. They get... But you, they They work. Yeah, they got so, two cars. They each have their own car. But they pay their they get... own car payments, right? Huh? They make their own car payments, right? Or are they just putting no, all their own money in the bank? <laughs> oh, shit. No. Uh-oh. No, no, no. And here Jerry no. said, hold up, let me say something, nigga. See, oh, this, is where, this is where the knuckle comes. But... Bobby going to be living with Jerry <laughs> by the <laughs> end of the show. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this, is the ver- this is the verbal <laughs> pimp slap. Let me tell you something, girl. Uh, all the money <laughs> goes into my account. What? I pay all the bills. Oh. I don't let them pay all the bills. They pay the bills. If I if I let them pay the bills, then it's because I told them they can pay pay those bills. But I keep all the money. If they need twenty dollars to go do something, $20? get their nails and hair done, I give Jesus. them the money. But they don't hold no money. Jerry really is a gorilla pimp. Oh <laughs> God damn, Jerry! I didn't realize it was gangster like that, nigga. <laughs> and if they don't like it, I punch them in the asshole. <laughs> Here's the thing. You already know how dumb they are. You think I trust them with my money? Your money? But they earn that money. That's not... They, no. They, believe me. I earn three times as much money as they do. It's all just money. You know what, the, you know what their I'm money is? Be, Poppy, yeah. you know what it is? Basically, they, what it is, he's giving them some structure and some guidance. Yeah. Why right. would he... We have, all need that. Why? Yes, yeah. you do. Yes, you do. You I'm do. about to vomit. He gives them structure. I can't believe this is really happening How, can, he, how can you have... And I bet mm. you his house, your they house is clean. Sense. They clean the house too, right? Oh, yes. No, they, they better do. have fucking cleaning, ladies. Do they, use their, tongue, as do as they use their they tongue do? on the toilet? Or what? <laughs> if he makes three times as much as they do, he should fucking have somebody come and clean my house. No, because the three times as much goes... I've got a lovely lady named Louisa who would... No, no. I, 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 for trees. Hmm? I tried having somebody come in and clean the house. They got lazy. I fired them. 
I had to make them clean the house again. Oh, they were getting lazy. Them. I couldn't they have be, them. They need... It's, you're so like they're, soldiers. They're like slaves. No, they're soldiers. Soldiers. If you yeah. join yeah. the army... Wait a minute, wait a minute. When you join the army, right, does a motherfucker just go, all right, y'all go out there and do what the fuck you want. Goodbye. <laughs> right. That's right. You got to go, attention, yes, sir. And if a motherfucker... Let me tell you something. If a motherfucking... If a captain doesn't give you orders, he'll be like, nigga... This is the worst army I've ever been in. So when you, when you join Patrice's army, it's like, you know, I'm like, yes, sir. Now, okay, a general. Like, my bitch is like a, a three-star, whatever is two under general. An admiral? She can talk. Like, she can go, what? Like, she goes, she instead of going, yes, sir, attention, she, go, she does it half-hearted, like, Yes, sir. She still goes, yes, sir. But I can't court martial the bitch because she's an admiral. Because she, she has, I delegate some shit to her. She has tenor. If she's tenor. Tenor. That's why he said. That's why he said one girl is an eight and the others a seven because the eight is the boss over. Jerry Poppy doesn't even talk that much to both of them. He talked like, really, I would talk to delegate. Poppy. If you acting stupid, I say, Poppy, come here. Listen, this bitch is really fucking us up. And you'll go, yes, sir. And they'll go, private, private carrot, won't you shut the fuck up, bitch? <laughs> now give me 20. <laughs> Let me suck his dick 20 times. <laughs> Get on your knees, soldier. <laughs> if they're all happy with this, and this is a life they sign up for more power. You sign up for that Nobody fucking life, Nobody gives too, a Paris. fuck if you I approve. Are you kidding me? You sign up for it, too. Are you kidding me? All right. Hey, Jerry, man, thanks for calling, dude. Thanks hey, for I'll calling. talk to you. I got, I'll talk. Man, I'm sorry. These, that, unruly. Unruly uh, bitches. Uh, and I apologize, uh, Jerry. Yeah, see, that's the problem. See, I don't allow that stuff. Like, Patrice, uh, like, that's you're right. telling a story. Hang up on this, yeah. No, I ain't. Like, hang up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jerry. Is this? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, Jerry. This is what I'm saying. This is me off. This is the guy, and she needs to know that she doesn't open. Do you realize you're only allowed to talk to Jerry because you're here with who? You, Patrice. That's right, bitch. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Oh, and she, God. she was sarcastic about it, but that's that all was, it takes. And oh. it was still sexy. Good girl. Oh. See, that's the thing. Because they try talking, too, and, I, and, I, and, you know, they try. If I'm telling a story or something, or I want to tell them about my day and shit, and they interrupt me, I don't tell the story. I and say, are you going to talk or am I going to talk? If they're gonna talk, then I don't tell any. Then I don't say anything. Cause Otherwise, they know Jerry's the... stories are better. That's right. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let me finish my story, and then you can talk about right. your dumb shit. Jerry, can, about I, your Jerry dumb... can I ask you a question? What, what do you do for a living? I'm a computer programmer. Mm, he's a bore. And a bitch programmer too. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they program you program bitches. bitches. <laughs> he saw O's and ones. Matter of fact, that's one of his girl's names. <laughs> That's his girl. He has one called Gladys, and other one's Computer. <laughs> <laughs> computer, get in there, ho. Ram. Oh I will upgrade you. <laughs> Which is a mother boy. They, and hey, hey, Jerry, these two girls, they're sitting here disgusted. And unhappy. You know what the funny but, and, they're, and they're both unhappy. Patrice and Dante, I'll tell you, and this is the God's honest truth as long, and I've talked to you guys a couple of times. No doubt. Neither one of them would leave if I at, unless I... Even if I asked them, they'd beg me to stay. That's right. You know why? Because they... They didn't have daddies. No. Oh, he had a big dick. Oh, hey, but do you hear Do you hear the typical the response? Do, I, and let me tell you something. See a picture. Do you think? Do you think that these two girls didn't say the same shit before they got into Jerry's uh, stable, into exactly. the castle? That's right. Count, exactly. count Jerry La. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you think they weren't saying that? Let me ask you something. Do you take it in ass, Carol? No. All right. Do you ever take it in ass, Poppy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I waste time asking that question? That. I should have said, hey, Poppy, that. have you never yeah. taken it in ass? I will for two carrots. But here's what happened. Before you took it in ass, have you ever yeah. swallowed cum? Yeah. Okay. Now, but think about before you first swallowed your first cum. It was a month ago. Didn't you go? Didn't you go? Oh, I would. Ne- wasn't there a time when I you said, to save my "Wait day. a minute"? Where you? Right. Do you think that you would ever? Do you don't before you swallow cum, Karis? I can't. Believe did I you listen to me? Listen to me. Before you swallow cum, did you think that you? Didn't you say to yourself, 
I would never do that. Before you did it, like like years yeah. before you did it, ooh, yeah. I would never swallow no cum. There's you always, said that. There's didn't always you? Wait, look at her silence. That makes Wait, you do, do you see her silence? Because she's is, trying to find a way trying, around the I fucking question. Is, no, 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 it's either yes or no. Jerry, thanks for calling, man. Let me let, let me um. I'm a, I want to say something. I want to say it all the way through, Kareth. You, you okay? You sat this. Kara sat there with this. As I've been asking that question, to work it was a, it was a, it was a simple yes or no question, right? Now what Kara did is what every bitch does. She knows what I was getting at. She knows the point I was going to make, and the point was so logical. She and did. she she went ahead and knew that the point would blow her bullshit up about Jerry. She knew I was going to apply that Jerry to, Jerry to that. So she tried to figure out a fucking way to not to, answer exactly. yes. Exactly. One last five seconds, if that. The other is a lifetime. I mean, they're living with this man. But he talked what? them yes, into it. Hold her. up. You see, Some she even she like even that. baffles you at times with her bullshit like because you, she still didn't address what you just said. The fact that you shut your mouth and didn't answer yes or no question. I was thinking. Answer the Why fucking was you question. That? Because I was trying to think if it was ever a conscious thought in my mind. Okay. Wait, wait. When it happened, okay, it there was impacted. never a time there was never a time in your life that a guy goes that you thought about coming your mouth when you was talking to your girlfriends or whatever, that you thought about coming your mouth and you didn't go, Ugh mm. Okay. No. Thank we're gonna go on a break, man. We're gonna be back with this goddamn fuck look at her nice and frustrated. Good for you. I bet your oh. titties are sweating too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going on a break, we're coming back. Stay right there, because yeah. we're not done with this. I, By a long A bunch shot. of people calling up, the threesomes are a disaster. I, that's... All, all women. It, it, no, it, that's a guy. All it, women. It's a disaster because... Wait, Bruce in PA says threesomes are a disaster. During Connecticut, some of us live just like Patrice. So oh, just hold that thought, because we're a little late right now. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. We'll continue with this thing in just a bit. I want to do threesomes. Preferably have two girlfriends. Mm-hmm. All right? Or basically, one girlfriend and and we have a girlfriend. So your relationship has a girlfriend. Yes. You, you and your chick, your your girlfriend, yes. have a girlfriend. Have a girlfriend. All right. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I am trying to make <laughs> strides <laughs> in doing that. I yeah. am trying to make it happen because I think that you're trying to park closer to the stadium. And the only <laughs> that's, that's I, all I, I see. I want parking. I want wants, parking space. He wants VIP parking. And your girl is at every single aisle waving you further from the stadium. <laughs> and you're trying to explain to her that you'll be happy if I'm closer to the stadium cuz I'll be happy because she's in the car with me and she's always going <laughs> she's riding with me so my happiness is happiness, man. A woman's a woman's happiness is not based on anything except for trying to figure out how to be happy. So if I'm happy and I have to cause her I have to bring happiness to it, I have to be happy so that I'm in this in this this mood All right, well, to give her this happiness to, to, to give her what she needs. So how does this come into a, another girl dropping because in and having sex me, with you too? That makes me super happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have enough happiness to give two women now. So you're using the Reagan's trickle down e economics. Trickle down, man. With with uh, happiness. Trickle down, man. Because a woman's happiness, she just so not. She doesn't know. Like, what makes her happy? She just, okay, you, mm -hmm. women go from from place to place, specific to specific. Me, when me and my girl argue, I always try to argue the context is she of even the a, entire thing. But is, is she uh -huh. allowed to argue with you? Absolutely. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. I got a big In mouth. In Patrice's world, but it seems like you look, shut look, your man, mouth and let me rule the whole place. When I met her, when I met her, uh -huh. okay, I she, I had a few women, okay? She asked me, and I think I told you, she asked me how did she end up being my girl. And I said, because you hung around. You know, because you stayed in there. You hung in there. <laughs> oh, my God. And what, is, what it is, it's like karate class. And this is women. This relationship's a disaster. Karate oh, class. Oh, man. It's, it's like disaster. karate class, man. It's like you meet. Look, it, would you agree that men deal in numbers when it comes to relationships? When we have we have to go find women. We we can't sit around and wait for women to come to us. Right, we right. We have to actively go search. Yeah, out. you got to go so seek it's, and it's destroy. It's like having right. a human resources department. You may... <laughs> 
have the secretary you need, <laughs> but she might leave your ass without two weeks' notice. And see, you stuck. What, your company going to go out of business? So what happens is when I met my girl, I had six, about five or six girls that I had been. By the way, there's, there's actually people out there saying you're full of ass. Of course. I have, uh, we know Patrice for a long time. No, 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 no. He nah. lives by um, uh, different rules than no. most people. I know there's a few out there also saying I live just like Patrice, but in general, uh, no. uh, the average guy is not getting away with what Patrice is, no, 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 is no, no, doing no. with his relationships and his life. Do you, did you ever think that your girl, your current girlfriend, just wants you and that's it? She but does. She's, but she's playing these little games to keep you happy, hoping that maybe someday you're going to like give up on all this other crap and just settle down with her. Can I tell you what my girlfriend is? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you what she is. Hi. She is a lesbian who is in love with me. Hmm. She hates men, but she loves me for whatever reason. Because I, I, was, I, she, I was the first dude to be into her without being sexual with her. We, she would hang out with me. I'd give a guide, and she would go, don't I look good in this? And I'm like, you, you look good, but you, you, you do. But I would be honest. <laughs> You'll do. But I, oh, I would boy. be honest. Yeah. I, would, I would be That's honest with her uh -huh. where other guys would lie to her to sleep with her just mm -hmm. to get just to sleep and she'd be like well why i'm a cool chick i out I, I do anything i'm down i i don't play sex games with nobody but why did why is these dudes not making me their girl and i was telling her why and as i was doing that unfold she was falling in love with me and i was just being frivolous so once i realized she was in love i added her to the karate class <laughs> and she happened to be after i flip everybody right and they go i'm getting out of this class by the end of the thing there's two girls left and they're both black belts one loses and she's just like out of here. Yeah. So now I have a black belt and she has a black belt in my crap because I can't feed her. <laughs> that's so that's why I don't, I don't cheat on her because if I go out and I go talk to some girl I just met and I give her a white belt like lies. Hey, baby, some old easy white belt, yellow belt. Yeah. Stuff. I come back to my girl with white belt mentality. I come back to her. She's like, I go, but you know, hi, ya. And she goes, she kicks me in the face and goes, I've never been able to kick you in your face that easy. What, what you doing? Talking to a white belt? I got to stay focused with her. Because she has a black she belt in you. She has a black belt in me. She knows I'm not, like, I was going to say jiving her, but I ain't jiving her. I'm not playing games with her. And she's not doing this. For, she's a soldier, man. I went to Brazil with her. She's not doing this for me. Uh, she is definitely getting she enjoyment. She is a soldier. And... All right, there's the answer. I'm just asking. Okay, okay. Now, now I understand a little more about uh, right. about your relationship. But now that's Brazil, where you know you're paying for things. Now there's a hooker out there that likes me. She she didn't like her. I said, Are you out of your mind? You could have gave her a hundred dollars. She would have took it. You could have smacked her around and made her and say, Yeah, you like my man? You whore? Smack upside the head. She didn't think like. Yeah, what's she this? Got... Don't like stuff. You're paying. She did. She just. She, there was a chick. That just, it, she was my p p play girlfriend out there. Yeah. And she had more than just, I want your money. She was like, oh, I want your money, and I, who's this? And my girl's like, who's this? Well, looking at you like, she like you like that. So she's getting into it with third world whores when they give her that vibe. But the ones, <laughs> the ones that don't give her, that's all she wants is not to be challenged, man. And she won't be. Let me ask you're you. You're bringing another girlfriend. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. L let me ask you. I was just going to say that. Now, this other girl comes in. Mm. Your girl uh, digs her because she's a lesbian that's in love with you. You love the situation because now you got the two chicks. But I got you, one chick. You are so, well, well, well. Let me just I got say, one okay, chick you got and one chick. We have one chick, and you have one chick. You right? Yeah, but, but she only gets two but, panties. The other one gets four. By your, <laughs> by your logic, by your My logic. My girl gets four. I'm sorry. By your logic, <laughs> you are so fantastic that this girl is going to have to fall in love with you. Because you are a master of women, you will understand this girl. You here's will start treating her. Here's the trickle she down. She will fall in love with you. It can't be two queens, Anthony. There's one queen. <laughs> so are you gonna have them duke it no, out? No, my girl. <laughs> Death match. My girl will guide her through. Like, okay, I love my nipples licked, right? Uh, All right. Uh, now, <laughs> damn it, that's just that ugly. We image. was in Brazil. <laughs> And Go back my, to talking about what, parking lot. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> we was in, my girl's looking at the nipple, and there's, there's, another, there's, there's a hooker looking at the other nipple, right? Uh -huh. And my girl looks at the other the hooker and go, taps her on the top of her head and goes, <laughs> to let her know that he likes... Oh, right. Someone. Yeah, yeah. So what'll happen is, if we find us a girlfriend, my girl will trickle down what I like 
to her. I'm not going to have that much access. So to you're not even going to. It's going to be all filtered through your chick. She's going to have your a wants, needs, daughter. everything else. <laughs> filtered you... through your chick. Filtered to your your two, Absolutely. the new chick. Yeah. And that way you don't have much contact with her, so she can't fall in love with you. But she will know to do your bidding through your real chick. Yeah, Patrice's main girlfriend will be cool. like the manager. And then the girl will be right. like, oh, worker yeah. bee, and she can tell her what to Yeah, yeah. And you then Patrice can fire her through that manager. You're <laughs> yeah. out of here. You need a reality <laughs> show, <laughs> man. Oh, they hell yeah. Your, your people should be freaking... Are they crazy not having Patrice on a reality show? They should show? be like yeah, pushing a reality show, Patrice O'Neill and, and his chick. That would be a reality show I Damn. would watch. I pitched it. Because there's some honesty there. <laughs> I went to Comedy Central, pitched it, and my girl came to the thing, and they looked at me like... She came in wow. and looked at me like y'all would look at me. You know, when, when I'm talking, yeah. and I go, look, I go, look, the show is going to be me, God and women, right? But I have a girlfriend, and all I'm doing is trying to find a woman that might, this could be my girlfriend if I was looking for one. <laughs> go to VH1. I think go, to go to VH1. Or, or Playboy, yeah. Ma Playboy TV. You can't go to Comedy Central. Go to VH1. Yeah, because this is so, no joke. This is just all right. very serious. So this started with Patrice saying that you didn't get much sleep because you had the argument with your girlfriend because she found out you were talking to another girl, but you were talking to this other girl to bring her as a new girlfriend, yes. but not as important as the main girlfriend. She only no. gets two pairs of panties. Your girlfriend that you love gets four. Right. It's always better. So how did it end? We had the one of the best sessions we've ever had. <laughs> oh, it ended she with walked just... to the bathroom limping. She <laughs> crawled to the bathroom. We had one of the best sessions we've ever had. When she gets tired, because I never get tired of arguing, and she got tired, and she's when she when I when there's logic involved, because she she feels how she feels, and so she was just saying, "Look, I feel how I feel. I'm I don't want you, you know, you hanging out the perception that." This, this some other girl, and oh, and I look like a fool, and this, that, and the third. And then I, I'm like, look, it's not going to happen. The, my lo my logic was, why would I why would I bring her? It's too easy. I'm just telling her, it's too easy to cheat. It's too easy to cheat. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, f and, and I'm, a, I'm not a, a, a nice guy with that, that particular situation. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll get a little side, but I got a girl that I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Her, losing her is 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 important enough, but still, I'm if I'm going to sacrifice the fact that I like to go get strange, you'd rather just have it all right on the table. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do, so I need this from you. Yes, but I got lucky and found a, a soldier. What the hell does she see in you? I'm a trooper, man. I, I don't. What man, the she's hell free. does she see in you? She is a free. She's free, man. She's a she's a free woman. She's a lesbian, she, basically. So she doesn't she doesn't of, like guys. She but she loves you. She loves me. Why? Because your honesty. Because I'm uh, because you take care of her bills. Because you, no one you buy her nice a, things. Like every other woman who falls in love with me, I guide them. I don't leave him hanging. All right. I told her if if we break up, man, some lucky man's gonna get a good woman. <laughs> <laughs> some of you dudes out there, if if I go with, if you break up with your girl, I gotta get a maniac that I gotta fix. All right, now let's get back to <laughs> now let's get back to what you said uh, about He's Vinny. Fix. You said something else there that you don't kiss. Yeah, the, uh, no one. Look, man, uh, my girl is lovely. Vinny's wife is lovely. Everybody got lovely women, man. And after a few years. The, you cannot. It's it's scientifically impossible for you to kiss your Science wife. Science is being brought in now. I, I, I read a book. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah, it's I, scientifically yeah. impossible to kiss your woman with a, with that same. I just met you passion. If you've been with her for a few years, so you gotta find ways to jack it up. See, you got a family, Vinny, which which kind of gives you that obligatory kind of. You know, I'm a. You're a dad. You know, you're a family man. But you kiss your mom, your wife like like you just met her. Don't lie, Vinny. Well, you understand with kids, I can't kiss her that often. So you're wrong. I, when I get to kiss her, it's fun. Did you hear that? Did you hear? Yeah, because did you hear the there. roller skating he did? Well, no. I have kids. Blah, 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 no, just, shut just, up, Vinny. You don't understand that because you're not. There's something disconnected in you. You're not a normal human being. Yeah, that's that you, why we love it, him. It, we love you. No, I, we I, love I, the Patrice. Go ahead, Vinny. <laughs> no, listen. You're not normal. You, people don't like you. 
where they meet you because <laughs> mm-hmm. you're not normal. You're but very, you like me, Vinny. I love you. You, you like me like why, you, though? You. When you met me. Yeah. You know why? Because yeah, it wasn't status quo. It's like you meet some some little intern in the elevator over at the Viacom building. Hello, how's your morning? How's it? Shut up. <laughs> it's six in the morning. Why? Why? Because you, uh, you are raping me with your niceness. Why is my bitterness in the morning so bad? The, why is my bitterness love the different bitterness. from yeah. your... From your hey, sub, subjugate, yeah. subjugate me with your fake. How you doing? I listen. I don't. I'm, I, you lost me somewhere. No, because because saying... you want to go. Hello, how are you? This good morning. Da, 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 and that's that's status quo. <laughs> but I met you and said, look at you, you so you're short saying cause I... idiot. And you go, Ugh. but but you, that's what kind of guy you really are, Vinny. You're a guy who who gives people. You mess with people all the time. And 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 you go. Wait a minute. You had to get used to the fact, like that, we didn't go through the social contract. And I'm, and I'm all I'm trying to do. This is what I'm trying to do, Opie. I'm trying to eliminate the social filter and go from this is how I feel to saying it. And sometimes it still gets blocked and choked in to the, the contract. Please. But yeah. I just want to come up You're and not say, get an argument from me. You know, <laughs> we relate wanna, on that level. Right. I just want to say what I feel like saying. And if, if my girl asks me, uh, you know, you just want to be be with two women and make them two women your girlfriend. I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that's how I feel. All right. Wow. You were asking me about the dumb parking lot. What's the solution? So what's the solution to keeping like the passion going in a relationship? I think it's possible, actually. I really do. Uh, you tell me. I, so far, I'm beyond happy two years like, in. So, I mean, you know, I, you know, so I'm not at that point. I mean, Vinny's trying to say ten, how many years? Twelve years. Twelve this years is, later that it's, it's exactly the same, the kissing? This is, this is what I do. Like, the other day, now look, you're going to fucking jump. No, I'm not. Listen to him and watch, watch this unravel. No, All right. I, yeah, you're going to jump over me because you're going to say, the other day I got up, I sent my wife flowers just to send her flowers. That keeps her happy. That makes her happy. She got the flowers. Why'd you do that? Because I love you. That's why. That's how. I, that's protocol. Because you know you got to court your protocol. wife. Protocol. All you have to do, Obi, you got to court your wife. You got to, look, I take care of myself. I keep myself in good shape. Yeah. That's how I keep it fresh. You court. Well, we'll exactly. Go, it's not boring. <laughs> it's easy to court your Man, wife. Vinny. Seven we'll million dollar wow, house, Vinny. Wow, you're really. Uh, it's wow. easy when you live in a house. My you God! Can, you, can, you can ride wow. around you in everyone. the house. You have a you have a roller coaster <laughs> right. in your house, Vinny. <laughs> wow! You just happy. you just gave all the guys out there a blueprint to keep uh, their relationships going, Vinny. Wow. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Yeah. flowers. You know how that's yeah. hacky after a while. I mean, sure, flowers yeah, are good, flowers. but you got to do not, a little more than flowers. It's not just flowers. You just give her a credit card, tell her to go spend the money. You go fake you take and a vacation. Exactly. That's right. what you do. You can't get in a relationship and what, get bored. <laughs> what happens, Vinny? Right. When when the money if the money runs flat man you ain't got no guidance you gotta work you don't see you don't need guidance because you got you you have enough money to to j- that's that's the guidance you can buy her stuff you can send her on her on, on her cruises you can do all that stuff but where's the guidance where's where's you have to constantly figure out ways to buy her new stuff oh no, Vinny, thank you stuff. for a new this is a diamond you're washing machine. Food. Thank no. you, Vincent. It's the same wash. thing. Four panties, two panties. You're buying. You said the no, same no, thing. No. You got to keep her happy. I don't. I don't keep her happy with buy. I keep her happy with guidance because you know what? Guidance. Here's what it is. Once your here's girl. Your guidance. I'm bringing here's, another girl. Here's you your train hunt. Train her how to lick my nipples. And, that's the and you don't think that's people. exciting that's for her? That's not to guidance. train another broad? You you're gonna mess up. You're gonna lose that girl because you're trying to have two girlfriends. You're gonna blow it off. And and, and, and that, here's the reason. Spot. It's Here's a, the reason I'm not going to lose her because I'm trying to have two girlfriends. I'm not trying to have one each. You'll get I'm four trying to have two, and then you'll he's need. Trying three. to have a girlfriend for his relationship. That can, he's I, in. can I speak for Patrice? I think I know him. If he loses his girlfriend because she's not into the girlfriend with another girlfriend thing, right? Mm-hmm. Four, four panties, two panties. So the, <laughs> yeah. so the other girlfriend's not as good as the main girlfriend, yeah, yeah. and the main girlfriend leaves because of all this. In, in Patrice's world, he's gonna go. You know what? She wasn't worthy of this anyway. She, I'm the back dojo, out there. The dojo opens back, back up. That's right. I'm and back out there. And he trains another black belt. Just in his mind, he believes this is how he wants to live, and he also believes that he's gonna make it happen. Whether it's with this one that he's currently with, or with someone that uh, he hasn't even met yet. So to answer your question, Vinny, if he does lose that girlfriend, he doesn't. He doesn't care in the end. Oh, I don't think Patrice cares. He doesn't about care in the end. Yeah, I don't think he cares at all. I, I, go, you know what? I don't think he cares, cares about anything. anything. But <laughs> I do. I, I love my girl, man. She, I love my girl. I tell her, look, man. I Look, I love my girl. 
I right. watch too much Maury Povich, right? <laughs> I love my girl yeah. 90% because I need 10% to, to think that she is garbage, meaning that she could cheat on me. She could do something foul to me. But I give her 90% of my love. I need 10% for me to function mm-hmm. <laughs> so I can look through my files and human resources and get me some more secretaries, get me some more candidates. And it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to supplement. See, That's my your insurance policy. My girlfriend fills up. 90% of me. 90%, mm-hmm. okay? Maybe 80% because I'm trying to muscle another chicken. <laughs> so she fills me up 80%. Uh-huh. That means you figure <laughs> Keeps if it was down. 10 women, 10 <laughs> women, just go down. it would take eight <laughs> women, eight women to fill up the space sheet. So I would actively go out and find eight women to fill the void. But you love this girl. I love my girl. Uh, let me ask you something. You love her. She yeah. comes to you tomorrow and says, look, Patrice, I love you too. I can't have a girlfriend for our relationship. I say, fine. And if you want to talk to her, I've said it to her. I said, sweetie, last night I said, look, man, you can, let me tell you what a trooper she is. All right. I said, look, and you think this is reverse psychology, but then yeah. I said, look, I don't want no trouble. Just, I, we, we'll cancel this, man. I'm sorry. I, I went out, I was out of, and she said, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. She wants a piece of this girl. She saw her. She was a hot mama. Little Amazon, six feet, nice booty. And Patrice My girl almost has it all figured out. But, you almost have this puzzle figured out. But because- there's some pieces that got to be put, like, rearranged. Well, but, is that it? But Patrice's main girlfriend is more lesbian than straight, and that's what's yeah. making this whole thing kind of work. Kind of making it work. It's, it's, he, Patrice almost has this puzzle figured out completely. Almost. You're almost there. Would you accept a show on XM where it's you and your chick trying to find a third girl? Did you? I, I, I mean, uh, yeah, another girl in the relationship? Uh, no, because they'll just come out the woodworks, man. It's, it's the, the hunt. Would, it's it, yeah, it's see, the manipulation. He of- doesn't want to uh, like fish in a barrel. He's got to go I out. Gotta find a he trooper. Like, he likes the game. It's yeah. the game. Yeah. Finding a trooper, man, is exciting. That's I the was... game for him. All right, listen, we got to get one person that agrees with Vinny. There's one out there, James in Oklahoma. One. James. What's going on, guys? Hey. I've been married 17 years. Got four kids. Still have sex three, four times a week. Oh, he's really I'm selling bored. his life. Listen to him. He sound like there's a razor blade to his throat right now. Uh, you listen to you, man. Let me tell you, let me copy how you sound. Uh, you know, we've been doing this radio show a really long time. I can tell you what's going on right now. His wife is in the passenger seat. You call him. You call him. You know you're happy. It's been 17 years. You get on the phone and defend our long relationship. I love the show, but this isn't necessarily the show you should gauge relationships on. Oh, we had a big fight three days ago. All right. Well, I'm, thank you. I'm telling you, man. It comes, it comes and it goes, man. We have seen that, though, where all of a sudden a guy will call up and like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then you find out that his wife's yeah. going to work with him. or You, you know, they call that together. show because we've been together, and I want people to know that you could be together for 17 years, and it could still be allowed to. This is the radio rocks. show you listen to? Well, you call them right now. He's calling from his <laughs> minivan <laughs> right. with his car seats in the back. <laughs> and, <laughs> sir, sir, if you're in the car listening, what, <laughs> two things you ask yourself. If she left you, what would you really miss? <laughs> oh, my Jesus. God. And two. If you told her how it was, where would she go? And what would she do? She can't get another you. You can get another her easy. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. You're not a normal person. Wow. That's I not normal. love this if your guy. Woman, if your woman left you, uh, Vinny, she could not find another dude to take uh, uh, to, with another uh, beauty. Vinny, I haven't been to your house. Vinny has the the best house I've ever Scene really nice. in my entire yeah. life. Me personally, I mean, I haven't been. All right. But, yeah, we got to take a break. Can, can she find another you easier than you can find another her? You tell me that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Listen, she's listening. Yes, she could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, it's the only virus spreading across America. It's just, it doesn't stop during the breaks. Uh, Patrice just keeps going on and on, just with all this knowledge and wisdom of relationships <laughs> that is from the planet Krypton, because it do, it's nothing that can work here on, on Earth. If for some reason, I think it's our oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere that, that just screws this whole th- plan of yours up. Maybe you got to go to, like, Venus, because... You are just talking fantasy world. It can happen. Whatever you're talking about, let me tell you. There's somebody out there living it more than I want to. Whatever you're talking about is possible. It can happen. Mm -hmm. But it's the the, the after effect, the repercussions, these things. You're making it sound like 
you do this, and then it follows up with this. No, you do this. It's like, all right, we got to clear out a spot here to build a house on. So let me nuke it, and then I'm going to build a house <laughs> without thinking funny. it's going to be irradiated for eight thousand years. <laughs> You're like, what? Well, it, it, it cleared the ground, and now I, it's clear. <laughs> you no. look at it like that. <laughs> you get, that's, pretty funny. that's pretty funny. You. you <laughs> <laughs> like your plan is good up until the repercussion point. Well, we just have the repercussions. You're, you're you're kind of assuming too much on. You're planning too much on what this girl that you're bringing in is going to be all about. Don't forget one basic thing: that I am not putting on her to know anything. I am guiding. The, right. I am driving. But you, you're not going to get an her. empty vessel. So what'll happen is she she his, she has two choices. Mm hmm. She she ride, or she gets out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. Well, we asked a question during the break uh, about your. Can we say? Go ahead, man. I don't know what you want to to air or not. It's fine, man. But it's basically, like, you know, your girl. I, I'm not gonna say a name. You know what I'm saying? But she's she's a good girl. You know yeah, basically, a girl. Uh, we asked if uh, your girl's been with another dude, and if that bothers you. And then <laughs> you said what? Uh, we I've seen her pop another dude. Yeah, I've seen her with another guy. We went to a swing joint, and I was because of what I wanted to do. I had to. There was no logic. It was just been, it would have just been pure hypocritical mm -hmm. to say you can't sleep with another dude. I didn't even want to put that in my head to say that. So I said, okay, we're gonna do this. And what happened is the dude. Um, what happens is when you swapping, you know, when you swinging. You know, you go in, he goes in with his girl, and I go in with my girl, and we go and we start with each other, mm -hmm. get the sex vibe going, and we kind of, you know, switch, you know, trade up, switch up, and and <laughs> he was very uh, gentle with my girl, very she liked him, no funny, no strange fingers, no weird <laughs> action, and she she to she nailed him like a soldier. Oh and he God. was very good to her, and I was very good to his girl. <laughs> All right. Hey, when you're in these situations, All right, now I'm, like, yeah. I, I'm thinking, like, what is it? You're just sitting, standing there watching? When you're in these situations, and people look at you and go, oh, damn, that's Patrice O'Neill from Web Junk. <laughs> Do you get recognized in those situations? Whatever. Like, most people that watch Web I mean, look, most of the people, that, my fans are, are, are more the fans of this show and my fans, like from HBO, some of them web mm -hmm. junk. Web junk people are, are like the little kids and the teenagers. Yeah. But a lot of those college boys, they crazy, man. And and they just know me. I'm honest, man. That's why I got web junk. It's like they just, it's just, I'm I'm trying to be honest, as honest as I can. Well, somebody you absolutely might, are. I'll give you that might much. Call me out, and I might have lied about some. Some might, you know, I got these girls out there that mush my heart. Couple when I was young, and you just learn. You live and you learn. And my it happiness, I just want to be must have been a hell happy. of a mushing. What's wrong with it, some happiness? It must have been a hell of a mushing because you have gone, like, in a wacky direction, Patrice. All right, let's go to... Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with your happiness. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Jerry in Connecticut. Jerry. Hey, boys, what's up? Hey. Hey, Is this my boy? Je Patrice. Hey, man. What's up, man? This guy's a trooper when I was doing a Black Phillip. They this is my boy. You know this guy? He's my he's on my top eight. Never took him off because uh, he's a so he's living it. Tell him, Jerry. Listen, boys. I've been living. I've been married for ten years. Mm -hmm. Two kids, and I got a girlfriend living in the house for the last nine years. Mm. There you go. What? Nine years. Vinny, you got a, a ten thousand square foot house. You can't got, have another girlfriend in there running around. I think you might find her feet. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I keep seeing that girl. <laughs> yeah, just a fleeting glimpse down a hallway somewhere, a long corridor. This guy's a soldier, man. She live upstairs like um the the what's the dude the thing from uh, Pulp Fiction. Um, the gimp. The gimp. She upstairs. They don't. Him and his wife. I remember the whole thing. Him and his wife. The the girl and, and the wife have a little thing going. He doesn't care that they mess around. Uh, you know him. why this works? Why? Let me tell you why this works. Because Jerry is like one step away from serial killer. Like oh, it, it's no, got to be. A, he's a black guy. We don't serial kill. Well, well. Let me. I'm the mentality is that of a serial killer. Like how you, can you say that? Because it's so out there. He's got a kept woman in the attic? No, she's not kept. She, they know each other. They hang out together. They watch movies together. <laughs> Thank you, they Jerry. go shopping together. Th uh, you're, Jerry, like a, you're like a four Mormon. Four panties and two, baby. You're like a Mormon then, then in the old days. No, he's happy. Happy. Very happy. How does a fight happen in that house? Like, in other words, does 
You ever get like two girls, they ever argue with you, the two of them? Team up, them? double the bitching? Gotta. Well, yeah, but I straighten that out. Uh, uh, he is, he's got the serial, that that comment, I straighten that out. I why th- why is that a serial killer, man? Why? It's just some kind of weird mentality. Why? No, I, I, I'm exactly the, exactly what Patrice is saying is exactly the way it is. It just doesn't seem to. I train both of them. I taught both. <laughs> I train them. See, training. It's this. <laughs> he's raising a good bitch. <laughs> he's you know raising what? his girl. And you know what? Neither one of them would leave if I asked them to. Why did you marry the one? Did you have, did you know the other one before you got married? I did know her, but we weren't sexually in- involved. And then after one year of marriage, you got this girl moved into your house. Well, we had we started having sex first, so probably two years or so in the house. Just you and her, or you, her, and the wife? Uh, me and the wife were living together. We started having sex with my girlfriend, and then within two or three years. She moved into the house. Delicious. That's my plan, too. I just got a house myself, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> it has a nice attic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And does she All come right. to you and say, like, I need money for, you know, something or no, we just, clothes? Or? No, we just started living together, and I started taking care of her. I bought her new car. I bought her... What is the third? What does the third person get out of this? That's what I don't get. A new she, I can see what you get. I can a see. New car. I can see what the wife gets. But what the girl, you know, in the attic with the she chain gets, around her ankle. What does some, she get? She in gets the a end? fulfillment, man, she that she's not going to get. She, he's but he does, has enough gonna... guidance to to lead two women. He can guide these women to something that they that that virally viral feeling that they don't understand. If you ask them why. They love Jerry. They won't be able to tell you because there's some kind of weird nature happening. You don't think or she's yeah. waiting for the wife to, like, die oh, or yeah, something? yeah, after 10 years, of yeah, course. Kids. Yeah, she's been slowly poisoning her like, like flowers in the attic. She's been giving him arsenic in the cookies. <laughs> and she, 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 he's a trooper. Why can't you understand that? I'm trying to understand this. I can't understand it. I mean, I mean does this, do you have kids? Yeah. You have kids? And you got kids. What do they call her? Aunt, what's her name? <laughs> Aunt Whore? Aunt Whore. <laughs> uh, what, Jerry? They just call her by her regular name. Yeah. And what are you, how old are your kids? Um, one's 11 and one is 7. All right, and what do they think about this relationship? She's what are they nanny. being told? She's it's the nanny. Perfectly, <laughs> no, it's perfectly normal to them. They don't... Wait, wait, it's perfectly normal. How much do they know about this relationship? They. they I've had my kids go... Uh-oh. Is that your new girlfriend when I have a girl come over the house? Who goes to back to school night? <laughs> yeah, who goes to the PTA <laughs> meeting? Look at Benny. That's all he cares about. <laughs> I can't understand he, that. He can't wrap his, you do, you do he, understand it. He can't wrap his oh, arms no, around I, this in I, any Jerry, way. Jerry, man, I'm sorry. I left, <laughs> us, I, I left us hanging. One of these days, we're going to... So who does the laundry? Up. And uh, if I bring flowers home, who gets what? <laughs> yeah, are there are there shared duties? <laughs> Dude, Jerry, do they... And Jerry's not a... Jerry uh, doesn't, is not like, hey, baby, uh, and then if they get out of line, I'm going to smack him in the top yeah. of the chops. I don't. I never touch my girl. I'm threatening my no. girl, man. None of that, man. It's no. a guidance. It's a thing. It's it's tapping into this thing where she's <sighs> just looking at you, man. Like, look, this is so sexy. I've seen look. I've seen TV shows about uh, uh, Mormons and people that are into polygamy and stuff like that, and the women. Are always a little screwy in the head. Stepford. They, which they, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're like which, I'm sorry. Right. Which woman do you know that's not screwy in the head? I'm no, sorry. In, a, in a different way. I'm talking. They're a little like like way out there. Uh, a little screwy in the head as far as like their their relationship with the man mm-hmm. is very submissive, very submissive, and they have a relationship with each other like almost sisterly, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Patrice isn't saying yeah. anything wrong. He's, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's and this is great. <laughs> so they're not actual, they're not real women. They're they're mm. they're puppets. They're they're Stepford wives. Yeah, they're, why? Why? Because it's two of them. So if he yeah, did, because if he they, did the same thing with his. You're one not wife. getting a loving relationship. From, it, are you loving Jerry? Uh, he's, uh, he's on hold because I want to go to Joe. You're not okay. getting a real loving relationship. You're getting sex from two different women. How do you, you know get, what you're getting? Have you ever done it? How do I know? Wait a minute, Anthony. Have you ever done it? You is it now? For I, what I pay about, through the nose every three months because of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I got divorced? I'm saying, but <laughs> did you experience any of this action with your old wife? Did you find out if Didn't this I is wrong? Didn't I just explain everything? 
Do you think I'm talking out my ass no, about I'm this saying, whole thing? Did you do a I am so with experienced. Your wife? That, of course I did. All right. I know happened? everything. What happened? What happened? I write huge checks every three months. You got divorced because of a threesome? That was part of it. That was the straw that broke. That was the straw that broke the camel's was back. The threesome was it? Yeah, that was, right, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. There was a lot going on. Joe in Jersey. <laughs> that was the one where, when the questioning came about in the courtroom, and I would watch the news and the post reporters there. I said, "Let's go in the back and settle this <laughs> immediately." Uh, Joe, what's up? Uh, I just want to say, Patrice sounds exactly like every cult leader I've ever heard. Yeah, cult leader, yes. that's what I'm... I'm sorry I said serial killer. I meant cult leader. That is absolutely... Uh, bravo, yes. sir. Sounds like cult you. leader. You're a cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing to say. He's been found out. Look at him. Wow. Oh, he's, that's I'm right. I'm a, he's proud I'm of that, though. Because yeah. once, he, get, once, he, once he swings two, do you think it's going to stop? That's right. The hunt is going to go, go like, stop there. He's going to then go, you know, if I could get three girls. And I got some one poison girl. Kool-Aid waiting for the hole right now. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI is going to be lobbing grenades through your window. <laughs> no, they're not. They're going to be joining me for dinner. Come on in. Come on. Come on in, Lieutenant. Have a little. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be hoarding weapons. He's hoarding bitches. <laughs> Is there a law against this? Officer, put that down. Come on in. <laughs> Let's go to Edward in Queens. Edward, you want to have her over there? Go ahead. Edward, parking lot uh, Y. I can't believe it. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it all started with parking lot Y, by the way. Let's, let's remember that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Edward, what's up? Yeah, what's up, gentlemen? What's up, man? Yo, Patrice, um, I've been married for about nearly six years now. I love this woman to death, but I want to get away from her now. Yeah. And you know what? And you know what will want will keep you from not get because you don't <clears throat> you're not sexually like explosive towards her no more. And so now you're figuring that it's it's getting bad because you're not sexually feeling the way you used to. That's because innately we need look. God don't make mistakes. There's five or ten women born to every one guy because God knows we will sleep with five or ten women to keep this world going. All you got to do, man, is talk to her and say, look, I just need. Here's what you go to a swing club, go to La Trapeze, man, right? And let me tell you <laughs> what it'll do. Where's La that? It's, I don't know where it is, but it's you just look it up. It's very. It's not <laughs> one of those. Fun. It's not get, one of those things where, on you, where you knock and say Joe sent me. You keep going. <laughs> and here's the thing, dude. Let me tell you what you need to do. Patrice, you need to watch another guy want your woman, and you will be excited again. And she needs to watch another woman want you and y'all will want each other again it will be it will last a, a extra five more years of excitement because y'all because you're living this this married life of what you're supposed to be living if you go wait, wait, out wait, 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 and wait. you find strange guys that want to pop your wife that you're can't gonna be, be like, done i want i want to that, be, that can't be done like at a you're mall? talking about one can't extreme that be done right at a mall? right yeah, can't that, that be walking done around at, at, her at, looking you, real good walking around and guys right, look right. at her no no, because it's going to be filtered from the other guys. You got to take us someplace where the protocol is some dude in a towel, and a, and his and his chick with her breasts hanging out say, "Listen, let's, I, your girl is gorgeous," and you go, "Yours is too," and y'all go in a room and you watch some other dude want your woman. Well, it's a little further than want. He's getting. Hey, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't have everything. And I'm telling you, that'll spark y'all up, dude. I'm oh, telling Jesus. you. Jesus. No, I'm not lying to you, man. I'm telling you. We're talking animal stuff here. We're not talking. Let's get socially. Let's, let's Vinny, clear you our taking minds. notes over there or what? I'm listening. I'm going right. to try and sell let's it to my Let's clear our tonight. minds socially, man. Let's just clear the social contract. <laughs> let's talk about animal. Let's talk about what you feel, man. I don't know what you feel, right, but whatever what you feel, you, you, you just aren't into her. And, you know, you're a good guy, and you love her, but you're, you're questioning yourself. You're going, why? You know what? I'm going to tell you why I feel like this now. Because for the last month, it's just been beefing, beefing, beefing. And last week, we got into a fight so bad that I locked out the house, and she had me committed for the night. You're done, dude. Yeah. Get it. Get out of it. Yeah. It's no. over, Johnny. It's don't, over. Don't get out of it. This is your fault, dude. Because it's your <laughs> fault. Because that's what they do. You have to guide them. You have to let them know anything crazy she does. You have to dismiss it with logic, man. You have to beat her down with logic. I'm telling you, man. Your 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 marriage isn't over. She's she's got some thing where girls get a little like I need excitement. Let me tell you something. 
any emotion is an emotion for a woman. Hatred is the same thing as love for them. If a girl hates me, I know I can get her. Because I'll flip it over. It's yin and yang, right. man. Flip yin your wife. Yang. I'm Hate telling you. Hate is love. Work is freedom. What? I love it all. No. Yeah, you, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. <laughs> Dude, don't give up, man. I'm telling you, man. J try that out, man. Because uh, let me tell you, she... He's got to throw this yeah. one back. That's she what I'm cannot... Saying. Yeah, you're uh, knocking people out of the house. Let me get tell you out. something. You're not going to fight... You're not going to find a woman who won't do that. You got to make every woman you with, you got to make her into your girl. Your woman, your woman, your wife is your wife, Vinny. Yeah, if yeah, she yeah. left you, she had to become someone else's wife. And I don't mean just I do. She has to know what makes you mad, what makes you happy, and she has to care about what makes you mad and what makes you happy. His you, wife you, doesn't care because she thinks he doesn't care, so she's doing dumb stuff for drama to get attention. And that's your fault because you started off like that. If you're going backwards, it's hard to turn around, man. But now you got to start turning around and you got to take a L. Patrice wants every guy out there to be a pimp. This is like wow. pimp mentality. But not hit your wife or put her on the avenue. So selling. what's he supposed to do now? She she start, Let's say, here's an example. She walks up to him. And, uh, you know, what the hell do you do? You didn't vacuum the floor. This place is a man. You know, you, you, uh, you, blah, 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 blah. She's bitching. What's he supposed to do now after six years of taking that? Bring home a new girlfriend. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> what haven't you been listening to? Apparently. <laughs> what am I, stupid? I, I know. The answer was right in front of me. <laughs> Somebody wants to call your cult, Cult 45, by the way. Uh, <laughs> He doesn't have a name, but he did it from his cell phone Cold on the SMB back. Can I have that and, for the book? Cold oh, 45. Cold 45. Some girl from Austin. I watched my husband F2 women on Saturday, and he still F'd me when he got home. This does happen in real life, and Patrice can get what he wants easily. Many couples we know have a girlfriend. Delicious. Uh, there was one God more bless. to go to. God bless. It's a big world. A lot of people out there. A lot of people. Go to go to uh, adult friend finder. But, but, and uh, here, tell me that. Go to wait. Go to pal talk on whatever lonely room and watch some broad somewhere taking a boobs out just to be loved. I've seen it on pal talk. Yeah. Mammy, right. Mammy Pelagroso. Let's go to Paul in Brooklyn. Paul. <laughs> hey, what's up? You got hey, people joining your hey, cult like crazy, by the way. Yeah, They're man. calling hey. in. Yeah, Paul. Hey, hey, he was talking about that place, La Trapeze. It's on 27th and 5th. I've been there. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Another soldier. Another VIP soldier. Yeah. <laughs> <He's got> <laughs> Paul, what's this place about? Hey, you know, the place is what it is. It's like he says. It's the, you, you go there, you have to go in there with a woman, or if you're a single woman, you can get in. I'm yeah, married. no guys just walking in. Hey, I want to see somebody. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> I got nothing to trade. Yeah. <laughs> I want to pick someone up on waivers, if you don't mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you go in, you bring a chick. Right, but the deal is with me, I'm married, and the girl I go with is married. I know her husband. She knows my wife. So, but her and I get together, and we go there, and then we swap with other couples, and then we go back down perspective to others, like, you know, whatever, and we just have a good time. It's hard to explain. But. It is. You got too many others in there. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The okay, other here's, the, then... here's the one thing, though. Do, do, do your wife and his and her husband know? No, of course not. Oh, oh, so there's, then it's a little bit. So it's you a gotta... You're kind of cheating with each other. But here's the thing. Listen to this. Let, let's boil this down. All yeah, right. Let's boil he's this got down. A girl, but he, he, even he, sleep with. he is cheating on his wife, and he still needs extra booty. <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Wait, are you sleeping with the other guy's wife? Uh, or are you just taking her out yeah, and swapping? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you know why? Because he's a winner, and and this other woman's a winner. And they they're with two people that goes uh his wife goes uh, and his and her husband goes no and they both went ran into each other and went hey let's uh let's do something it's crazy still not enough let's swap you know each other great? too <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go down there and swap <laughs> each other he's just using it as swap I can get a lot more for you than I can for my wife come on <laughs> you know what I could get for you <laughs> yeah you know what else is great yeah she loves other women too. Yeah, she's, she's all over the place. Do you hear happiness? Wait a minute. Time out. Do you hear 
how elated this guy is to talk. He sounds like a straight lazy dude, right? Did you hear Mr. I love my wife, 17 years, four kids? He sounded like death warmed over. He sounded like he was praying for cancer. He, was like, <laughs> he sounded like he was practicing to have cancer. <laughs> Night of the living dead. I love my wife. <laughs> four kids. And everybody throws their four kids and everything. Like that's like that's the validation for your misery. This dude's like, dude, I'm cheating on my wife. I, I love it. I love my my best friend's wife. And we're swapping. Out of the swingers club. He's, he's happy to to oh. get this out. It's it was like a sickness on his soul. He gets to <laughs> say it and not be judged. Cause I'm in his corner.